going on? We had some uh, issues there. Oh, uh, there's always issues. I know. That's we're, life. We still have. We're still. Yeah, I mean, I'm still trying to get things uh, up and going on uh, Spreaker, and okay. let me get the chat room going. But fantastic turnout. Uh, wow, in the chat's going. Russia. That's all going. Oh my god! I just got what to do my class, get? so like I was like running. And I'm like, what? It's seven o'clock already. So you're doing all that. And I'm like rushing home to be, you know, to be your support system there. And I'm trying to eat at the same time, and like, how do I mute? How do I turn off the camera? And luckily, uh, the moderator was there to help me out. Yes. But yes. Um, but you had an amazing. Uh, class. Oh, thank you, thank you. And, and you, did I, you know, I, I, it doesn't seem to amaze me. You know, I didn't know you were such the kitchen witch. Yeah, I, I'm really, I mean, it's not so much on the kitchen side, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I mean, you utilize, or I love cooking, you know, number one. So I will say that. And I can go to a restaurant and kind of pick apart a, a dish and then recreate it at home. Um, right. You know, but, you know, on a magical sense, you know, I don't necessarily do kitchen magic. Um, and utilizing herbs in that way, but I do utilize them a lot within uh, my magical practice, you know, for candle magic and um, adding that extra vibration to the magic that I do do. So, you know, the urban, I'm not an herbalist, but I do use herbs a lot and it is a big part of my practice um, in the magical sense. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, the, the stuff that's out there, like I you know, said in my class, it irks me that the, all the information that is out there. But um, yeah, I mean, I guess you didn't know <laughs> that I that I am. A you haven't cooked it for me yet. Yes, no, no. Uh, you know, I my magical practice really focuses around a lot of candle magic, um, and with that, um, herbs, oils, things like that. So that's where a lot of my magical uh, practice actually. The candle is sympathetic, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm very big sure. on it. Very big on it. Um, but a huge turnout on uh, Witch Hunt. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, you know, every this is the second annual uh, Witch Con affair, and and uh, the, the just the overwhelming response and uh, turnout is just great to see the community coming closer and uh, that unity. So um, I thank everyone for, you know, being there at 10 o'clock in the morning yeah. <laughs> for my class, yes. as well yeah. as for Eddie's. Yeah. I didn't even, I didn't even check, my, you know, um, how many people were in my class. I, I know the chat room was, was going with that. And, you know, at 10 o'clock in the morning, you had a good large amount with that. So, um, <laughs> you know, it, it's been shocking and going. And I'm not being rude, to everyone. I'm trying to check um, to see if the Zoom room, which was supposed to be clear um, for us to take over live, technically live from WitchCon, um, is uh, done. But uh, of course, you know, our lovely hosts of WitchCon, Brian and Christian, um they're still doing their thing in the zoom room and it's their their event so we'll let them have it but once we have the clear to go in and we'll start bringing in some of those presenters um and do that so for now we can talk about which con um and where it all started and how it all started and um, our experiences as presenters um and as uh, event goers um, well, last year we uh, for WitchCon we had Christian Day, yes, and we interviewed Christian Day and how he gave us the story of the rundown of how he was able to get the domain for WitchCon, mm -hmm. and how there was some sort of little rivalry uh, with other people. Yeah, but some, somebody else had owned it. Someone else's, uh, I will mention, but yes. Yes, I, I definitely, we had him on, and that, that was a great show. And I, um, I heard from a friend that we went on talking for maybe five hours or more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, 
yeah, we we stayed on Turf IO. So you know, you you can always still catch that show. Uh, it's on YouTube. It's uh, on. on and that Facebook. was the first annual WitchCon, and uh, it, it was a huge. I think it was close to a thousand um, participants, right? Of uh, um, members that joined. Yeah, yeah, close to a thousand, yes. and we have. I think. This this one was about maybe five or six hundred, um, if I could if I remember correctly. But but it's a huge turnout, and how the, the community comes closer. Of course, the convenience of technology, uh, you know, just being at home and, and watching everyone, and you have worldwide practitioners. That's the the beauty of it of, of different religious and traditional systems. So it's just uh, amazing to see that unity in one in one platform. Yes. No. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's get almost getting better every year. Uh, it <laughs> yeah, does. It's the second year. It sure you know, does. So, so. Yes. Um, uh, yeah. So uh, Belladonna, um, I because I know you are involved with uh, the WitchCon thing because I've seen you. You were in my class. Thank you. Um, so they you should have gotten an email. Uh, with the link to the uh, Zoom room. It's kind of like the uh, uh, little gathering area where presenters, it's like a meet and greet uh, that comes along with that. So the emails from WitchCon, you would have gotten the link for that. Um, I'm not sure really what's going on in there right now. Uh, I, Brian and Christian are all in there. I can always pop in um, and kind of see what's going on with that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, the chat the chat is going, 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 going. Uh, so I'm gonna hit a couple things. Uh, let's see. Uh, our charity, charity is uh, one of the presenters. Actually, charity. Um, while that mess, they're all talking in the Zoom room. Um, if you'd like, you can come on. Um, if you, let's see. If you have uh, Skype. I could do a search for you. If you send me your Skype thing, you can send it to me personally on Facebook and I'll get it and then I can patch you in and you can join us right here at this point and if you want. Um, but yeah, uh, for her, she, you know, talking about the kitchen witchery uh, as you cook, you know, one of the things I said was talking about in my class um, is, you know, throwing all those herbs and doing all that stuff within ki even kitchen witchery, any magic really, um, is uh, you know the the main thing and that was part of my thing uh with working with herbs tell every ingredient what it needs to do throwing it all into a glass jar or into a soup is only giving you one percent of magic and if you tell each thing what to do and what its purpose is you're going to take that one percent and bring it up to yeah you have to, you you give it the intent, you know, I mean that 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 energy, and also your prana, your breath. You, yeah, you know, well, of course, it, right? Yeah, you, it, it, it's it's adding that. It's taking one percent. Adding, yes. You know, everybody's like, it, every, intention is everything. Bullshit. It is only one percent. It's yeah, one percent. But 1%. if you if you breathe in with you know the the prana mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. breathing into that herb and giving it for healing, heal. And so forth. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, there's a lot Especially involved. Especially even with our, with our, even with our, uh, our rocks. Yeah. Uh, it's it's know, all. The, yeah. Crystals. It's all the same. We do. We yeah. we actually give it in our intents. I have one here for healing, because it has a fracture, and if you see closely, there's there's actually it's fractured, and it 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 normally, naturally, it healed itself. It it um, so so I I. You know, I mean, I give it that energy for healing. So it, close to me or, or for someone. Right. When I, so, my and, healing. and that's what I was talking about in, in the class is that, you know, that's creates your own. I mean, that's a quartz, right? That looks like a quartz. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a quartz. So, I mean, you know, quartz is it's kind of like a, a universal, which, you know, if you watch the show with um, Nicholas Pearson, we were talking about that. But, Correct. Um, you know, but, you know, you're putting that signature uh, that language, right? And that's how you can build your own correspondences with that because of that crack, you know, it healed that crack. That's a, that's like, the, like I said, with tarot, it's that symbolism that's there that you utilize that. But you're also putting that intent, your your energy, 
You're doing all of that to, to work with it with healing. That crystal, you're not going to use that crystal for love. Unless no. it's like love healing. I, you're I using it for he, healing. This is a healing crystal. Right. So I dedicate it for healing, and I give it its its you know the prana, the the intent, the energy, so in order to heal myself or heal others. Um, let's see. I did not receive. I, um, Charity says she sent me a message. So let me just gonna check that real quick. Um, <laughs> you just uh, did, I don't know if you sent it on Facebook. Uh, oh, no, you sent it to this old witch. All right, give me one second, and I will do the search, and we will bring Charity Battle, I, I think that's how you say it, on to the show as our first guest. Uh, and, um, so we're kind of winging tonight, so... No, we you <laughs> know... Actually, it's a candid moment where we just we come together and we dedicate this episode to WitchCon. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's wonderful because being being presenters ourselves uh, and giving back to the community is, is wonderful. So I, I'm here and we've had an amazing fluctuation with temperature and climate. I just I can't believe it here in New York City. So we you know from from having spring weather and now it's dropping and we're we're facing a blizzard or some sort of snowstorm coming our way something wicked this way comes mm. <laughs> but i love it i love oh winter. there was an update for skype but now i have to learn how to do it all over again uh, no we <laughs> do updates for skype uh no they just changed the way it looks iOS as well. Just recently, I had to update my phone. I have to update the, you know, the computer, the Mac, and oh, it's just. I wish it would put it in itself. All right, I think I got Charity connected, and we'll wait till she kind of comes in there. Because now Skype doesn't ring for us anymore. Uh, it looks like it's, it's trying to connect. Charity. Do I, have, Hi, you... do I have the correct charity? Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> let me. Uh, let me. Can you, can you click on your camera? Hold on. Let me see. There it is. And let me let me add you to our feed. Yes. We don't, we see, don't see you, charity. charity. There we go. There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Yay, our first guest. Oh, I just, <laughs> just, no. Our first guest from Witch God. Yes, yes. So your class is tomorrow, correct? Yes. Yes. And what are you teaching? I didn't check. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm teaching a class <laughs> on um, magical powders and dirt. Powders, one of my other favorite things to work with. I... <laughs> Yeah, I actually um, craft and sell them uh, as part of my business, Mystic Echoes, which I don't have any stock at the moment because I'm revamping my packaging and my recipes, but they'll be going back hopefully this spring. But yeah, I love working with powders and someone once told me, well, why don't you work with dirt? There's like no one around that does that. And yeah. I've been working with dirt. I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to teach a little bit more about this. Because working with dirt and powders are very much connected. Yes. Powders, dirt was the first magical powder. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, well, obviously, I guess so. <laughs> it works in that way. But yes. Um, yeah. No, I, I love working with different dirts as well. Um, you know, different areas. So Terry, where are you from? I'm from Maine. Oh, wonderful. Many friends yeah, in I'm Maine. A, I'm a New Englander. It's really, it's really nice up here. Right now it's really dark, but I like the slower pace of life in most of New England. Though the city I live in, everything closes by 8 o'clock, so it's kind of annoying at times, especially when you want to order food. 
or go out to eat for, you know, like a late dinner. It's like, nope, closed, nope, closed, nope, closed. <laughs> <laughs> So this it's is your... not like New York City, <laughs> three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock everything. in the morning, yeah. <laughs> I miss that too. <laughs> but um, so th this is your this, this is your second year with WitchCon. Yep, yep. I was um, I presented last year, and I really enjoyed it. I was glad to come back again this year. I've been offered and asked to go down to Hexfest multiple times, but. I'm waiting for the project I'm working on to be finished before I accept that invitation because it'll be my first solo published book because the other book I have I co-wrote with another author and I did about 70 percent of the work the other 30 was her and other people because we collected recipes and home remedies from people from across the world so wonderful nice nice very nice yeah I, I, I think you were working on your your book uh last year during WitchCon. you were to kind of putting it together still uh, still in its infancy um if i remember correctly yep i was i had my draft um, at least my outline draft planned. I had a couple paragraphs here and there in the different chapters read, and I submitted it in, like, I think June or July from um, to one publisher. They said no. Then I went right to a different publisher and they said yes. And now I'm on my third draft and it's changed a bit and evolved, but it's been a wonderful process and I'm looking forward to having it published. The goal is for the end of this year, but we'll see, you know, things can sometimes take longer than they anticipated. They do. You never know. So that's wonderful news. I, I bet you feel so accomplished. I do feel accomplished. I, it's, part of it is still kind of in a shock because it's been a dream since I was like 14 years old. And I read my first books on witchcraft. I'm like, this is what I want to do. Because I knew it was on witchcraft that you read. Uh, the first book on witchcraft I read was Teen Rich Teen Witch by Silver Raven Wolf. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, and I actually I, I attended I attended her WitchCon class today. That was the the one class I've gotten to today. <laughs> she was she's amazing. She was able to contribute a, uh, an endorsement for my book and and I, I am so grateful. I think she's she presenting tomorrow. Two. He's presenting tomorrow as well. Yes. yes. Oh, she's got two. Nice. Yes. Uh, so I believe so. Uh, if I remember the schedule, it's so hard to keep track. <laughs> I yeah, couldn't remember so, my Silver's time. the last. <laughs> actually, to tell you the truth, Silver's the last person I need to send my book to. <laughs> and you have to get the address, uh, Eddie. Yes. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm trying to get uh, keep in contact with the the Zoom room uh, out there. So um, how's that going? What does Christian... I think they're still they're still going, um, they're still going on. They were supposed to go out and partying tonight, um, but they're still in there. So good for uh, them. They're in New Orleans. Yeah, I think they said they were going to be going out around like eight o'clock or so. Their so time. yeah, their time, uh, which is about an hour and a half from here, my time. So yeah, okay. So we, we, yeah, we, uh, we're on the same time as you. So I don't know what's going on. Um, we'll, we'll patch you in. So I'm just gonna post it in there. Um, we were supposed to have it, so I don't know what's going on. Um, Christian's still in there. I can see see his mug. <laughs> so 
Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, what's your experience with uh, witchcraft? How, you know, what, what, how do you, um, you know, because everybody has their own take, you know, what they take back from it, you know, as a presenter and also as, um, you know, going to the classes, you know, as an attendee. Well, one of the things I really like about it is that I am, I have limited funds, so I don't get to travel as much as I would like. So that limits where I get to teach and present. And this gave me an opportunity to reach people all over the globe and meet people all over the world. And when I was asked to join, I'm like, yes, I'll take that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I like it. I think the class length is just about perfect. Um, Because most of the events I go to, the workshops are only about 45 minutes. And you really just start getting into the meat of your topic at that point. So it's hard to to find a way to condense it so that you can have that nice workshop. The extra 15 to 20 minutes really makes a difference because you can then take it slower and you can go in more depth into certain things. Correct, Charity, because I remember when I was doing my own presentation, it, it just, I still had much more material to cover and I, and I didn't even get to it, but <laughs> it, it, it's so true. I think two hours, I think two hours is pretty much the length of my own workshops, but uh, for this one, it was an hour and 15. It was pretty good. Yeah, it, you know, it's funny because, you know, I've, over the years, I've, knowing that most classes, you know, if you're not doing it within a store, um, you know, if you're doing it at an event, you know, it is about a half hour, 45 minutes. Um, you know, so I've been lucky enough, I guess, to know that. And be able to condense a lot of the classes, although I'm cutting a lot of information out. True. You know, um, and when it's longer, it's it actually it's, it's actually harder for me to fill that space. Um, you know, because I, you know, my thing is, and we were talking about this before, you know, Alex, that um, I I like that interaction. You know, mm-hmm. of of people being in front of me asking questions you know i say in front of all my classes if you want to know something just shut me up because i'll just keep going and going and going and going if you want to know stop me ask the question because i want to gear the class towards who's here because i'm when i put it together i'm just thinking of everybody and trying to answer all those questions and trying to get the information out but when it's one-on-one so every class you know i could do the same class five times in a row with all these different people it's going to be a different class because i'm going to focus every on class that. even i yeah. presented this class on psychic gifts last year and this year it turned out to be a totally different, different class, class. It's, it's, yeah. it was amazing yeah. obviously you know there was the 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 added uh, work of my book into it so it, it just it, it even solidified even more so uh yes i understand wholeheartedly uh, do you know if maybe Jackie, I told Jackie, said to Maurice that, that um, maybe you could reach out to her as well? Um, if, she, if she's around, um, AC Fisher would like to join us, but she doesn't have Skype. Oh, my God. Oh. That, that room is full. Um, Belladonna is in our chat room and that chat room at the same time somehow. <laughs> <laughs> um, we could bring in Belladonna. I, I mean, I could be in both if I wanted to, because I have this on my phone and I have my computer. Well, yeah, that's, and I, I have I have up. this system that we're broadcasting from. I have my laptop, which is where also broadcasting some stuff from, and then I have my phone going. So you know, even for us, this is all um, you know off the cuff uh, because you know because we are live you know during WitchCon and, and things like that. Um, but yeah, so I mean, Alex, do you have any questions for uh, Charity? No, it's just amazing how she provides the powder, the pulverized. Yeah. Essence. Do you want to talk a little bit about that, or do you want to keep it secret until tomorrow? 
that's one of the reasons I like I started working with powder was that for a long time in my magical practice, I couldn't use incense. I couldn't burn herbs. I really was limited in what I could do. So grounding them into a powder that I could sprinkle about my room or wherever I was doing the work or put into a container to carry with me was really good and helped me learn a lot. I mean, my favorite powder to work with is black salt. I love my black salt recipe. And when I, I've definitely noticed a difference when I'm actively using it versus when I slip and forget to use it, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which for me, that tells me how effective the product is. Now, do you use do you use charcoal? Do you use ash? That's right. I was just going to go black. because I have I have a pet peeve about one thing that goes around the internet. So I'm curious as to I use I use charcoal and ash, and I also include um, the what the my personal batch for myself is a little different than the one that I sell, and the one that I sell includes gallon gal root and stinging nettle and um, black pepper oh. is that way they add a little protective mm-hmm. extra protection but also if someone is targeting you it'll absorb it and send it back to them instead oh, okay right that no, is- uh, that's that's great you see that's the proper way for things that's what my class is all about because you know the thing is is like you know you see a lot of things like oh if you're burning sage uh, you know save those ashes and add it and create black salt you've already used up the properties of that sage for cleansing out why would you add that to your salt it's like adding doo-doo to the toilet (laughs) the only reason i can think of using it is if that's the only source of ash you have regularly and you want to use ash then i could see saving that ash for that but yeah no i think if you're if you're using the salt maybe within your own home you know what i'm saying like again your personal recipe is not the one you put out for the public like, right. But, you know, when we're coming towards the Christianized version of Ash Wednesday and and we understand uh, that was taken from pagan practices, uh, uh, the the whole concept of actually putting your intent on a, on a parchment and burning it. And then, of course, collecting all that ash. Here's your uh, source this, for that, because I don't know about that. <laughs> what's my source about that? <laughs> This is what I, I do called, that I do that in groups on Facebook all the time. I'm like, what's your source? <laughs> my source is common sense. Common sense. <laughs> <laughs> so when when you know the Christianized version of that intention and parchment and burning and ash and uh, and and we use that within salt, but when you add like black pepper, you said and, and so forth, that's interesting. Now, there's, a, there's a, something that I was taught a long time ago. Goofer? Gopher? Goofer? Gopher, gopher dust. Go, go, there's yeah. gopher there's dust. the real, and then there's what's sold on the market. So it's just pointing. Right. And <laughs> it's, I, it's brick. It's actually powdered brick. It can, there's a form of it that does have that, yes. It does yeah, have and that. The, and the real version is nasty. I Goofer, have goofer dust. With it. I really hope I never have to come across a time where I end up needing it because if that's the case, then the shit's really hit the fan. <laughs> it is not a mix of herbs like they put on the internet. Just put it, putting that out now, there. Now, goofer dust, it's it's more than brick, correct? Right. Okay. Yeah, it's um, it's a. Yes. yes powder and it can cause death people have caused people to die for using goofer dust that's why i'm like nope so it it has cajun pepper uh i've seen some with that and that's 
for the speed, but also cayenne pepper and Cajun pepper are powerful hex. That's my, one of my favorite I, ones to work with. Is yeah. cayenne. <laughs> um, I, you know, in my hot foot powder and, you know, adding that extra oomph to a lot of stuff. That's one of my favorites. It's in a lot of my powders. <laughs> well, how I saw how I saw this was actually the practitioner was from Maine, from Sanford. And he said that usually they they throw that in the uh, the storefront to you know what I mean for competition or so forth to actually eliminate your competition. Yeah, yeah. It burns them yeah. away. Burns and them away. and you actually put goofer dust. And so I was like goofer dust because in in my own native culture we don't use goofer dust. And I I was like oh this is pretty interesting. Uh, so he was telling me and he was from Sanford. Maine. Yeah, um, I'm with that area, I don't know any of them. Well, I know one magical worker in Sanford, um, but other than that, I don't know much about the area. I kind of avoid it because I have a lot of family over there, and <laughs> I don't want to necessarily have more family drama in my life than I need. <laughs> it's family, so we be like. Come listen to me, hear what's going on. I'm like, no, I'm just going to live my own life. I love my family, but you, you got to make your choices. So another um, one of my favorite powders to work with is a um, red salt. And that one is uh, primarily for love and lust. And it's the salt. Um, I use cayenne powder in that because cayenne powder can be good for lust and love. Um, it's mm -hmm. also as like you said, the speed of it. Yeah, the speed right. and the heat. The, you know, the, the, the heat of it. Fire. Yes. Yeah. See, she knows. She, <laughs> she knows. And this is basically, you know, what my class was about: taking those, um, uh, this, uh, you know, the language, the signature of those herbs, and utilizing them in their way within your magic. Um, you know, a lot of everybody knows cayenne pepper, you know, being the heat, right? That, 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 yep. that fire, um, and, and utilizing it for the energy, that fast punch that you want to add that, you know, that's a common thing, but you can utilize it in so much. You can utilize it in healing, you know, because not only the punch of it, but the heat. Right, we put heat on sore arms. We I was also there, I was about to say, um, there's a lot of natural healing properties to cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the biggest goal for my book and my work with herbalism, and when I do talk about it, is to sh explain and connect how a lot of the magical work came from the medicinal work. That's what my class was on. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. It Wonderful. needs to be put out there. Charity, that's very impressive. Yeah. I'm really glad that you're actually trying to share this with the community. This, this is wonderful because uh, I'm learning a lot from you. Well, I mean, I cover a bit of it in the book, The Witch's Guide, a modern-day Wikipedia of... Hold Matthew it up a Lincoln. little higher. There you go. <laughs> Don't want to cover your face. That's good. There you go. That looks familiar. Is that from Llewellyn? Uh, no, it's actually, uh, originally they were called Sterling Ethos. They have a new name now. Um, the company is actually owned by Barnes & Noble. Gotcha. Okay. And that was, um, that book was released five years ago. I learned a lot writing it. I've learned a lot since then. There were definitely mistakes I made while I was writing that book. And at some point I might talk to the editor and be like, hey, can I release, can we release an updated edition with, you know, updated corrections and more accurate information, maybe include a couple things that ended up getting cut from the original draft, so. But, but I got a bunch of other stuff I'm working on first. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to, um, set up for our next guest at the same time so <laughs> you guys can keep keep chatting it was that um no so we are bringing on a, a. c fisher
Oh, wonderful. Oh, uh, no. I, last year, my class was on um, essential oils and the magical use of those as well as their medicinal use. Because a lot of people only know, you know, how to apply essential oils magic uh, medicinally. I'm like, no, no. You can use them magically. In of fact, course. Can, here's what, and then I shared one of my favorite ways to work with lemon essential oil as a curse. Because it is a sour oil. It will sour someone. It also... Um, can be used to cut and clear. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple things. Have you things ever seen there. a lemon? Have you ever seen the lemon branch? And a, you know, uh, uh, it has it has thorns. No, I haven't. But that doesn't surprise me. That again falls into the nature of the plant, and this because, is why you can use it for this. Because my mom has this huge lemon uh, plant and I'm like unbelievable it's it's huge it's grown immensely and I just I could see it had these thorns on them Eddie do, are you familiar with lemon no not with thorns with thorns yeah I, I guess it's some type of lemon uh, but I, I couldn't I was like astonished to see the thorns on it on the branch on the on the stem itself mm-hmm I mean, that's one of the reasons why I say you can actually use rose thorn roses in a hex. Roses have thorns, and you can use those thorns to tear at the heart of that's a what we we just heart. talked about that. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so glad that now, that's the, where your powder comes from. You get all you gather all those thorns and you pulverize them. Yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, that's, that's actually in my personal recipe of protection powder. Um, I do utilize that, um, whether from thorns or, you know, you know, a raspberry, you know, whatever has any kind of thorn, um, you know, and, it, you know, I did talk about that in my class too, um, you know, utilizing it, you know, it, and you'll understand this a hundred percent. And this is what we always talking about is the correspondences that are out there. Those, these lists of crud uh that's out there you know you'll see under protection rows but that's all you'll see and it's not about the it's not about the flower it's about the thorn it's about the thorn it's about that stem it's you know you can use the thorn because yeah. because not only can you use that to it to you know cause pain in the love you can also mix that with the flower petals to protect the love Yes, uh, yep, yeah. and that's what, yep, yeah. and put it together. Wonderfully yes. said. Yes. Wonderfully yeah. said. That yes. is excellent. Yes. Uh, I'm so uh, glad there's somebody else, you know, uh, you know that, that works off of the, I the, the know, language. Like you know. roses. I oh, I don't. I, I'm not, I don't. I like the thorns. <laughs> well, you, know what, uh, in the, uh, you know, years ago, I remember they used to use rose uh roses in to uh cook for the rice so we would cook rice and we would throw mm -hmm. the rose in it um so it is uh edible oh yeah no yeah they, they make rose tea they you know definitely um yeah you know, rose tea yeah so rose forth. waters and things I, like that you know it's a pungent smell that is it smells like old lady to me <laughs> uh, yeah because that's the association but mm -hmm. You know, it, it is pungent. It, it's beautiful at first, but then it, it just it um, it's it's too much. It, it it's it, it it doesn't have the balance. So yeah, I and, and really that... don't mind the smell of dried rose petals burning, but a lot of people do because they're like it does. They expect it to have that same yes soft fragrance. I'm like. It's not going to have the same soft fragrance. It's going to have a similar scent, but it's going to be different because mm -hmm. it's dried and the oil, most of the oil is gone. And what you have is just the sticky residue within the petals. And rose water. You know, there's also rose water. Right. It's right. cold today. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I mean, our, our chat's like, like like blowing up their hall. They're, they're loving this herbal 
<laughs> this, this is a little stuff. Uh, Natalie Sedgwick brought up uh, sweet gumballs, which I'm not sure what that is, uh, but they're pokey, so she they, they're good for protection. But is it um, part of the? Are they pokey of themselves? The the gumballs. I'm not sure what those are. We probably have a different name for it. Um, so I'm not really sure. Um, oh. Jackie, are you in the room? I see somebody talking to Jackie. We were just talking about you and having you uh, come on and uh, yeah, I, I be actually, a part I too. Was, I was talking to her on Instagram. Why don't you bring her on? Try, uh, yeah, bro, uh, Jackie. So, yes, um, if you are there, I'm going to call you on Skype. So have your Skype ready. Uh, sugar maple gumballs are spiked. Oh, I know what you – okay, I know what you're talking about. Um I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes, they are uh, basically the seed covering for maple trees. Um, and they are spiky, kind of like um, chestnuts. Uh, chestnuts come in the, that spiky yeah. thing. Um, chestnuts are amazing uh, for buc buckeye. Uh, uh, you would probably know them as, Alex. Uh, buckeyes are amazing for protection. Uh, great for against the yeah, evil eye. Yes, we use the seed in, yes. in many of the folklore yes. or the African diasporas. We use them as a as a vessel. Yes, uh, there, there's a lot of uses for them. The the outer coverings is great for protection. Uh, the buckeye themselves, the the, the nut themselves, because it's yes. great against the evil eye because it looks like an eye. Um, you look like an eye, and also and your third eye, you your know, psychic for, eye. I remember yes. in the old days they would actually put in the secrets into it. Yes, and steal it. yes. Uh, yeah, there, there's I've so many uses. I've never, I've never worked with buckeye, so I just learned a bit there. So thank you. Yeah, for that. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Great for protection. Great you for psychic awareness. Well, yes. Yeah, psychic awareness. Um, so it, they're wonderful. I so yeah, I mean, yeah, we got so much. So um, Charity, thank you. I mean, we're gonna have to cut us short because no, <laughs> I'm gonna bring somebody on. Yes, you. thank you, thank you so much thank for sharing you your you knowledge. Tell, tell, tell everybody what time your class is tomorrow if they are right. joining us with WitchCon. Um, my class tomorrow is at 11.30. I can't remember exactly which room, but yeah, it's at 11.30, and I'm going to have a lot of stuff to share, so it's going to be fun. Awesome. Thank you for doing it. Great. And good I... luck with your book. Thank you. Take yes, care. yes. Big hugs. All right, so this is getting really, really confusing, <laughs> having multiple uh, platforms running right now. Um, I'm going to try and see if Jackie is um, available. We'll get her on while I work out this other thing with uh, AC Fisher, because she doesn't have Skype, so we are going to be trying to do Zoom, but I can't sign well, in, too. Jackie so on. I'm I, I, I it's only if we can, if she is um, available. Um, holy moly. Um, how do I add? <laughs> they changed everything around for me um, with this. Uh, invite, add Skype contacts. All right. Um, how does she spell? Jacques. That doesn't help. There she is. Um, let me see. Jacques. Let's see if we can add her. If she's ready. I'm not sure if she's ready um, or available on Skype or any of that or if she heard any of that. <laughs> um, let her know that I'm calling her on Skype because um, I know you said you were talking with her. Um, I spoke to her yesterday. Okay, uh, I'm trying Instagram. out an invite would help. Okay, so she's right there. All right, Jackie, I just sent, uh, I just sent that invite uh, invite uh, through Skype. So if you are on Skype, you should get that invite. I don't know. I sense it. Um, so yeah. 
So, uh, Ashley's on too. Hello, Ashley. How are you? Um, so, here's what I'm going to try to do. Um, uh, I don't know how. I have to, like, switch back and forth uh, between these different things. And try yeah, to do this. I... Uh, well, they're, I guess they ran over on what they were, had planned or whatnot. Um, I mean, it's Christian. <laughs> um, uh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Too many platforms, too many platforms and not enough uh, context um, to be able to do this. So I have a Zoom set. So if I can... I have to get out of that. So why don't you talk for a little bit and try to do this while I send this over to um, AC Fisher and try to get her in on Zoom. Okay, and could you get Jackie or? Uh, Jackie's not answering. (laughs) So we'll leave it up to you to kind of hold that fort right now. Alex. I would have to leave in order for me because I'm on the phone. No, no, no. I mean, just, you know, chat chat away. Talk about oh, things no. while I sign no, into... It's interesting. It's, you know, there's so many topics. One of the things about which, obviously, with so many presenters, you have so many topics. You have, um, uh, you know, from, from herbalism to, uh, you know, psychic gifts like myself and... and um, uh, so many practitioners with their own remedies and practices, and so it's it's just uh, you know wonderful to share uh, an assortment of um, ideas. And this way, this this is the beauty of technology, and of course this platform, which con this this event. And now that uh, we had this lovely lady called Charity, who is uh, just amazing with her own, you know, um, polarized <laughs> herbs <laughs> no. and resins and everything. Because the other end is secrecy, right? Uh, Eddie, so, your class yeah, any, was everyone so you tell your magic students to involved. hear about how because every human being has a mind the and the testes. <laughs> their doubts to get in, their beliefs to get in, their that, get in. That, that was like, okay. I'm probably going to have all the and, guys. You know, I can see the walnut, uh, the symbolism of walnuts with, with the, the brain because of all the convolutions. Right, yeah, uh, of course. So I, I, see, I see that. Uh, I never really, you know, you learn so much from different, and also I was I was watching a little bit uh, before I got very uh, sleepy, and <laughs> I need to take a break uh, and recharge. But uh, Sorita Dieste, so her class as well. So it was wonderful to see um, everybody was back in its groove throughout WitchCon. So what is going on with the Zoom room? So, and- I, the, they're they're chatting away in that Zoom room. Um. Yeah, they're 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 just chatting away in there. I'm trying to. I just I just said she's not she's not answering. Um, there's nothing I can do. Is Ashley available or? Uh, don't know, but she wasn't part of WitchCon. Uh, we we all live from WitchCon. Remember? Um, I, I, I just give me a second. I'm trying to get this uh to go. Um. There we go. Uh, so, Zoom meeting, I think. Okay, so that would be our window for if she signs in on that. All right, so I have AC Fisher standing by. I don't know how. Well, if she gets the message, she'll cl- chime into that. She'll have that ready. Um, Jackie, if you are still watching, I'm in Skype. Can't find the invite, though. Okay, so I just saw that. I'm so sorry. Um, this is really uh, tough. Trying to get ad people. <laughs> um, 
Jackie. J A C Q. Okay. Oh. They they changed the way they 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 uh, able for me to jump in, so I can't. <laughs> That's why I love pre recorded shows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, even though live is quite fun and, and this, this spontaneity, but, uh, I love pre-recorded shows because it's so organized. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, well, you know, we're also live, to, uh, from WitchCon, so it's kind of hard to bring that in. And unfortunately the way things, uh, kind of rolled with, uh, how we had it set up, you know, kind of set things off too. Oh, and I, and I want to send, um, also Lady Rhea. Uh, I spoke to her today. She sends her love, and she she excuses herself because she couldn't be in the Zoom room and uh, or partake in, in this in our show here today. Uh, but she had a wonderful time setting up. She went all the way to Little India in uh, Queens, New York, mm -hmm. and she found this beautiful statue of Durga. And she was able to then bring it back home and uh, make this beautiful shrine for Durga in order to uh, for her to have her ritual uh, and share that with, on WitchCon. So th I heard that that was amazing. I didn't. I really didn't get to see it. I hope hopefully maybe uh, tomorrow. But I am so so inundated with so many things going on. And I have a project from work I have to do on Monday, and we have President's Day, so we're ha we're off. Hey, oh, hey. <laughs> uh, we were hey, able to get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's, that's, that's fine. I'm gonna add you right now oh. to the feed. Oh, oh my God! Oh, that was difficult. Uh, there is hi. I am getting I am getting major major feedback right now. You are Yeah, I don't know who it might it might be from adding Jackie in. I'm not sure. Yep, I think I I think we took care of it. Okay. Yep. Until I start talking. Yeah. There you go. No, you're good. Yeah. Nope. We are all good. Yep. Hello, lovely sister. I'm so, so, so happy to see you. We are all good. Yep. I'm in my pajamas already because I've been sewing all day and listening to all the wonderful witch time workshops. No, I'm still getting feedback. Tell me what I should do. I don't know. I don't know why we're getting feedback from you. Can you hear me? Yes. I might have had a window up. I oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for being patient with me. <laughs> so how are today. you now? How are you? I'm doing really good. You're getting a full view of my sewing room right now. I'm also shutting the door just Woo! in case. Um, I know. So much going on in here. Um, yeah, I've been just sewing all day and listening to a lot of wonderful workshops, including yours, Eddie. And I'm so sorry, my dear brother, but I missed yours this morning because I had no it's idea. It's so early in the morning. So early. <laughs> I had to work this morning, and I absolutely missed it. And um, but I, I, that's what's great about WitchCon is that the rewatch. We all get to rewatch these afterwards, and um, and it's fabulous because you know when I'm doing a lot of sewing and I'm working a lot, I like to listen. I go went back on last year's, and played a lot of them that I missed, and it, it's great because you know my computer's here and I'm listening to things and my work area is behind me and it's just a lot of great fabulous information from all kinds of people and so that's what I love about being a part of this event and um, yeah so Alex I will watch us tomorrow sorry Lee. <laughs> oh, worries, worries. I, I haven't even watched yours yet I, you know I mean it's like not even Lady Rhea's I haven't watched anyone I'm trying Mine's to tomorrow. it's not too late for mine 
but um <laughs> oh is yours is was yours today or tomorrow 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 night um, oh tomorrow night okay they get 5 45 eastern time and then but and then okay. my um uh, eternal stitch my turtle web um clothing there is is at like three something and okay. the, the vendorium there so um so for me, I'm glad they're back to back, just like they were last year. It makes it a lot easier for me. I can just put on makeup once, and <laughs> that makes things a lot, nicer, <laughs> a lot better for me in that way. Um, but yeah, so you guys must be a little relieved that you guys are done now. The days coming we, behind you. You know, I yeah, I, not yet. Our second, annual, <laughs> with our second annual, it's become now a tradition. Like I. I have 10 o'clock spot, 10 o'clock in the morning, which is good for me because I'm an early bird, as you know. So, so it's just good to do my class and then, and then have the rest of the day. But, um, and then uh, obviously I had Eddie to, to, to interject and, and help out and learn how to, you know, mute my, mute, get rid of the camera and move myself and so forth. But uh, yes, WitchCon has grown. Uh, it's amazing how we have different presenters this year. Uh, I, I, we still have the hundred, right? A hundred uh, presenters. I and don't know. I feel like we might have had a little less um, this less year. Yes. Yeah, less this year. Yeah, because I feel like the the slots, the way it was designed, there seems to be more slot openings. But I mean, I know I was I was watching one, and because of a storm that was going on in their area, they had to be moved. And so oh, I think in England. Yes. Yeah, so it, you know, it, in that sense, it's good that there's um, availability for anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do feel like there's a little less, and I don't know if it's you know, it wasn't in February last year, right? It was March. Or was that no, it's February. No, was it? I it thought was it... February. No, yeah. it was March. Are you sure? It was okay. March. Okay. It was Mar It was in March that we had. Yeah. It because it was right before I went to Brazil. Yeah, I feel like it was March, and I feel like that might have been a little better in some ways. Um, February is a really unpredictable month um, in general for some people. <laughs> it's just one of those. Have to see what I look like. Those the Pisces you know, and you know, all the energy at the very um, tail yeah, end. The you know, yeah. of the Listen, old, old I have you know, cycle imagination. in that way. Um, I don't know, it could be a number of things. Have. We've also a lot of people have had a lot of losses. Um, Wait a minute, a lot let of me see. Let's see. There's been a lot there. of things going on. There, there. I could see why yeah, some presenters might not have been we able to present this year. Um, I shouldn't do this. It's but been heavy. I'm going to put a... Oh, I don't know how to Listen, I'm old. I'm probably grandma here. I'm going to be 70. You know how old that is? 69? I don't know. I've never <laughs> experienced, right. of course, COVID. There's a new woman in town, in and I, that, I can't, well, you probably can't you know, read percentage this. Percentage. But Kristen but, and Brian. And it's part of my visit. She's making, she's a costume just designer. She just opened up a store in Salem. Well. She's making so, so, witch hats and costumes. So that's something the, that uh, the veil's good. open. All right. Nobody cares. And, you know, I'll and, I'll, and, and our, our, oh, our, on how good my, she is. You know, I was waiting for the match sign. I thought there was more turkey. Yeah. As <laughs> um, and I, I dedicated my, my class to him. Oh, I'm done. Oh, uh, you'll know when I'm done. I'll check out the Udon. Yeah. And yeah, he, you um, can't. I don't know how to do this. He oh, was I sick for two years we didn't know about. And uh, he kept it to himself. I'm, I'm really um, sorry that he was living he was you know and and having that festered in, in, in himself for all those uh, all, all those those two years it's unbelievable i wish i was i was there for him i'm so sorry i'm so yeah. sorry he was lost and uh, i didn't know him personally but uh, obviously you know just seeing him around all you guys and in, in at which con and in different things that um like the hex okay. education things like that and uh yeah, just seemed to have a really good spirit about him, and obviously the outpour of, um, you know, of love, love you. Care. I mean, definitely you love such a genuine soul and, and, and a genuine friend. So, you know, all hails to the traveler. Um, so it's just wonderful. 
it's just wonderful how we've expressed our, our mourning and our love for him. Yeah. Well, um, certainly I think there's a lot of different reasons um, that this year is, I feel like it has a little bit less presenters, but still doesn't mean the quality isn't there. Doesn't mean that the um, the events aren't fabulous. I'm teaching about cauldrons, uh, a great tool. That oh, nobody wonderful. I actually have the Can't same cauldron you do in the back, the, the Cabot uh, crest one. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, um, Amy, Amy Ravish. Yes. Uh, Sipsy. Made yep. that for me. So I have the same one, and it's what I use for my um, for my healings, to put in people's uh, names into the healing pot. So, um, so I'll be talking about all kinds of cauldrons and the use of them, because why not? I mean... These workshops, these classes are an hour and 15 minutes, as you guys know. So you, you can get a good amount of information, but you can't do a full workshop. So it's kind of like I was trying to think of what topics are lighthearted and, and educational and, and kind of, you know, beginners and middle of the road. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. True. True. It's, uh, and also one of our... Uh, teaching modalities that we we've, we've shared you know through, throughout our tradition and is the leaky cauldron you know of Kedidwin. and yes. uh, and also that that's something that um, I was rem I remember being in Glastonbury and I was my 50th birthday and, and having this huge cauldron in, <laughs> on top of the table and it was actually cracked and leaking, you know, and leaking, and they had, they had beverages inside of it, and I, I said, "Oh my God, the leaky cauldron!" So it, it reminded me of, of the the Welsh literature of uh, Cedwin and the leaky cauldron, and so uh, that's something that's something that we Jackie and I share together. Yes, in fact, in our, our initiation. Um... You were meant to plunge the Excalibur yes. into the cauldron, and <laughs> Candice Cabot, um, you know, she had uh, busted through. This was a class right before you She had busted through the cauldron with her Excalibur yes. when she was saying, I claim myself as witch, and just years of ash and dirt from the Cabot tradition just poured out into the ground. <laughs> and did, I think you had to use the same cauldron, didn't you, for we Yara? We used the same. We used yeah, the we same still cauldron. Yeah, we used the same cauldron, even though that's a total hole. That it was actually cracked. Yes, yeah. and we knew why. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Candy's doing. And she was one of the first to be initiated in that group. So everyone afterwards, like, I don't know what to do now. With this. <laughs> so, uh, one of the funny stories of our tradition, but um. Yeah, so when you used it afterwards, it had already been broken. Oh, no. But, yeah, that, that, um, amazing memory and love that you were there. And I rem and, and like I said in a, a previous uh, show when we, when we interviewed you, I have on my desk, I have that little crystal that says trust um, yes. that you gave me for my initiation. I always cherish that. So um, I, I do remember that fondly, um, having, well, uh, uh, John Ambrose and myself being initiated at that time, mm -hmm. and having the cauldron itself and bringing the, the uh, well, I, I can't be saying a lot of the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, a lot of the ingredients that goes into um, our initiation. And, yeah, uh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful, and I'm and I'm happy that that you were there with me, and you were the essence of uh, Ariane Rod, the silver wheel. Yes, the last few years that I was there. Hello. Ah, there Hello. we go. So this is Frey Bishop. I just sent out a whole thing, so I'm going to pop that in. How are you um, doing, Frey? Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm in my pajamas, so don't mind me. Pajama party over here. Massachusetts too. I'm I'm getting it. Uh, there we go. But there we got Alex, four I'm people. Awesome. Ooh. <laughs> what? 
So now, we got four people. Four this is the first time we've ever had four people on the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. How are you well, I see it here, but how are you balancing on the format of, of the show? Of the podcast? How, how are you? I, I, I have four spots. We got four spots. We got oh, it going. Doing yes. Four yes. Four pods? Yes, I am. That's <laughs> the space. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And we do, oh, I, we got people in waiting, so. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Yes. So um, I don't this, this mind uh, flying. I have no problem flying if you want to add somebody else in. You we, know? If that's okay with you. But Jackie, thank you so much for joining us again. You're the that's second, so been on here twice. So, yeah, thank you so much, Eddie, for being patient while I try to get No, it, it's all good. I, trust me, this is all new going live from an event and trying to pull everybody in and not being able to do this. So, yeah, it's all all completely new for us, too. So, <laughs> yeah, I love you very much, Jack. I love Hope you, to too. You and, Frey, I'll be listening to you on the other side. Be well, I guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 All right, Alex, you're on while I while I deal on this side. Uh, not at the moment. Uh, I'm going to try to pull them into the chat so that I can at least let them know. It says L-I. Yes, uh, that is Sean. So we're going to bring, uh, I guess we'll bring Sean on too. Uh, Sean, if you can hear us, if you turn on your video, we can add you to the uh, thing too. Now we're uh, going. Yeah, now, now we're moving. For, uh, Freya, I don't know if you know Sean. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to turn on video. Yeah, no, no, it's it's all good. It's all new yeah, for us camera, too. They just hit on the camera. I, it's you know what? It's because I've got an app. I have to shut down the app for some oh, Let's Try again. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh. <laughs> this is this is new for us too to be uh, able to have Absolutely. all these people Welcome on our show. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So good. Our, we can all hear each other. Has been running yes. <laughs> for two years now, and and we have the uh, uh, great support from the Well and Publishing, and and now WitchCon, we're doing this episode dedicated to WitchCon. So it's it's wonderful to. It's the first time we're actually having four pods, right? Yeah. Like, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Having four people on. Normally we just have one guest. Today <laughs> we're up to three, and then we got four coming on, and more and more are popping in right now. So it's been hard. <laughs> so I just kind of like want to, you know, do a rundown uh, now that we have some people in waiting. Um, yeah, guys, you know, introduce you yourselves. You know, take one at a time. Uh, uh, Freya, you're, you're at the top, and you were the first one in, so we'll go with you first. Uh, explain your class, kind of, you know, introduce yourself uh, to everybody on our end, um, you know, and what you do and your background and all of that. And then we'll move on to Sean below. And I'll, while you guys are doing that, I'm going to deal with everybody else that is ringing and dinging on my end. <laughs> so hello, everyone. My name is Freya Bishop. I am a psychic medium, a certified death midwife. That's pretty much what my class is about. I'm also a second degree cabinet priestess. So got to Show that love for the cabinet. <laughs> um, my class is called Test for Echo, Hearing the Call to Serve the Dying. And it's essentially a class about those who are interested in end-of-life care and how to incorporate your magical practices into caring for the dying and supporting the families and all of that entwined with each other. <laughs> Beautiful. Where have you been when I was in hospice? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm here now. <laughs> that is lovely. That That Thank is such you. a wonderful support system. Um, when I worked, um, uh, I think it was, it was two years I did hospice. I was doing private duty, and I was, do, I was doing also hospice as well. So it, that's wonderful service that you're providing. Thank you so much. I love what I do. It's being able to help families dying it's it's just such a beautiful thing because nowadays more and more people are needing that support and that help and it's wonderful to be absolutely in these trying times that we're living in exactly Correct. yes absolutely <laughs> oh that's a wonderful class to to have on which con Thank you. Uh, you know, and, and it's part of humanity as well, and you know, for and, and a huge support for healthcare. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> yeah, it was a. How about you, Sean? Tell us about you. 
Oh, uh, yeah. So, oh my goodness. Well, I, I've been involved in the occult since I was four years old when I had an encounter with an entity that my parents had to help me with. So I've been doing this for a long time. Um, you know, at that level, I was just reading about, you know, monsters and, you know, Loch Ness monster and, you know, things at a four-year-old level. But the, by the time I was 11, I was actually giving talks about the occult. Again, at an 11-year-old level, <laughs> right? So I was talking about UFOs and ghosts and things like that. They just kind of went from there. So I'm also a second-degree Cabot. So uh, I, I'm look at that! Oh, I'm the odd man out, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I'm like. I, I know. I've been given the honorary Cabot title, but come on, I'm the odd man out. <laughs> yeah, so is this the first degree. time you meet me? Yeah, I, I know. I don't. Yeah, we've never met, so this is awesome. This is awesome. That is awesome. So it's wonderful. Yeah. Welcome to the fold. Welcome to the family. This Thank is you. wonderful. The Cabbage family grows. And Eddie, yes, you are by me. <laughs> no, 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 by you, me. by Jackie. <laughs> 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 the the so Canadian Cabots. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've been in, involved uh, within uh, the Cabot family. Uh, for uh, wow, for a really that's how I met Alex. Actually, was was at a Cabot uh, ritual. Uh, Richie um, and yes. yeah, it's, yeah. Um, you Mark know, and Mark and Richie's uh, ball is, is. I believe that's where yeah. we met, um, and then continued on from there. My first ritual, I believe, um, in Salem was. Um, Vanessa, I think I'm not really sure. Years ago, you know, so I've been going, you know, on and off. I have a lot of a lot of cabinet friends, uh, but you know, it, it's just not um, uh, my forte in tradition. But I completely respect it, and everybody that I know is a cabinet. So, two things from you know Laurie herself, or was it from yeah. her Laurie herself? Yeah. yeah. And, and that's what prompted it for me, Alex, is that, um, you know, I wanted, I wanted to be taught by her directly while I, while I had the chance to do so. And so that's really what prompted it for me. So a friend of mine, um, uh, uh, um, Black Cat, uh, I saw, I saw uh, them uh, get their uh, um, uh, first, first degree, and that's what inspired me. I'm like, yeah, it's time. It's time. So we actually did second degree together, not even deliberately. We just ended up in the same class together. So that was that was cool because he he was my inspiration for first degree. I did it, and then we did second degree together. So that, that was really really lovely, nice. lovely. No, and and just amazing that Lori. Uh, I just spoke to Penny just not not too long ago, and it's just great that she is in well good spirits and. Unfortunately, this this uh, witch con she couldn't uh, partake in, but. Jackie and I are here to represent the tradition as well as you guys as uh, uh, also being part of the family. So, uh, you know, it's just wonderful that you guys are introducing uh, yourselves to me because sometimes I, I'm, I'm busy in my own world and I don't know who's who's really first and second degree. And so it's, it's just wonderful to That's see awesome. you. Thank you. So welcome and my <laughs> love to all. Thank you. So this is great, Eddie. <laughs> I, I got so much going on on my side. I'm listening. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot we have that uh, going, too. Um, yeah, no, no, Jackie. Jackie's in there, you know, uh, saying absolutely it is a cabaret brother, you know, all of that. Um, this is wonderful. Everybody's loving it. Um, you know, it's really good. Um Angela, th thanks for uh, chiming in. Um, I believe this may be your first time. Um, everybody's like, it's a party! Like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 so, you know, if you do have I, questions. You know it, it has turned out to be a party because to have so many people, we started out with, with uh, Charity <laughs> and then Jackie and now, and now Sean and, and, every, and, and this lovely lady. And so it's just, it's just a good turnout. Um, so, do we have other other uh, presenters? Um, yeah, there is one in the waiting. They're not connected at the moment, so they probably went over back to the okay. Zoom room. Um, 
Okay, but in the so, meantime, yeah. In the meantime, chat, out, yeah, chat it out with Sean and um, I. Sean, yeah. you're down in um, New Orleans too, uh, right now, right? Yeah, so I, I'm I'm a Canadian and uh, I moved uh, with my family down to New Orleans, so in uh, in late October. So I'm, I'm living down here until the Americans kick us out, and we're working on getting our visas so we can be down here, you know, as, as often as we want. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so so we're, we're we're living the dream right now down here in uh, in the city. We love it. We absolutely love it. Nice, so, nice. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I love New Orleans. So special. <laughs> yeah, it's it's incredible. Uh, we've been coming here for years, and uh, so we knew we wanted to be here, but it's such a magical city, and there's so many magical practitioners of all kinds of different paths, um, you know, some that align with stuff that I do and some that don't, and, and that's fine. Um, but just to pick their brains and have my brain picked and, and meet people randomly in this city because of it is just all amazing. It's just it's amazing. Yes, it's, it's, it's incredible. Just, and it's just a fun city to be with. Well, for sure. Oh, my goodness. Yes. If, if you like, if you like just doing the very normal fun things, it is, it's definitely a party city. I mean, it's Mardi Gras right now. So it's a party city amplified right now. My, my wife has been out all day uh, um, at the parades with one of my sons and a couple of our friends. So they're popping in for, for potty breaks. It's <laughs> 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 the main parade route. And so, uh, so she's she's been out there all day with with some people. <laughs> you know those beads. Oh my god! She, she came in and it, it's like she looks like Mr. T. Frey, <laughs> 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 hey, where where are you from? Philadelphia. Oh, okay. Uh, I, Pennsylvania. I love Philly. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely. Awesome. Actually, um, send me over a message on Facebook uh, because I have connections with Philadelphia Pagan Pride and maybe we can get you in on that. Oh, that would be lovely. Yes, yes. Um, I, I am part of the board um, for that. I'm actually a, a, a kind of like a, a mentoring. I've kind of left my position on the board, but I'm kind of sticking on because of my connections within the community abroad. And, you know, being able to bring in presenters and being able to do that. So I kind of mentor uh, some of the board and getting that on. So um, I know we are in the process of meeting to be able to plan for this coming year. We meet in September, um, you know, so shoot me a message and uh, maybe we can get you guys connected uh, on that. So it's right there in your, your hometown. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love Philly, uh, South Street. Yes. Yeah, it's changed. It's changed yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I remember. I remember yeah. 2003, and when it was first, it was still good. You know, it was still good then. It's not the same. <laughs> well, 2000, was it 2000 and maybe 2000 and, no 2001. But Philly has always been the armpit of America. But <laughs> then it, it changed. It was it was so developing into uh, the you know the boys were coming in and changing it and making it li alive again. Uh, and I remember staying at this um, beautiful hotel. It, it was a boutique hotel called Alexander's. Mm, I don't know yeah, if yeah, still yeah. Well, yeah, uh, that's just outside of the neighborhood, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's um, in, in near South Street, I think. South uh, South Street, right? Yeah, so, uh, um, it's uh, yeah, it's it's probably a couple of blocks from um, downtown. Oh, I guess it, like downtown South Street by the water there, where all the shops are and things like that. Yeah, um, it, yeah, it's, it's not. It's it's within walking distance now. I probably wouldn't walk it, but really yeah that, that it, yeah it has a change it used to be such a cool environment yeah so it's that vibrant. yeah it, it, it's it's got its pockets you know i mean philadelphia always had its pockets um and it, Freya, yeah. you could you know obviously say that too you know um it has its pockets um but south street itself it's kind of lost that artsy feel oh it, in the murals they had beautiful murals and i remember going to a club that uh, they would had they had techno, but they also had two step. They, they had <laughs> some country music and two step going on. It was wonderful to see. Oh, so we're getting hello. Yes, yes. Um, I'm gonna try five. <laughs> oh, it's charity. 
Charity. Oh, how, how do we get Charity back? Okay, never mind. Charity, I do apologize. I don't know why it, it rang that way. Um, so if you are here, I'm going to hang out with you. I'm so sorry. This is all new technology on my end, which is strange because I'm usually at the helm of all of that. But Charity, we, we cherish your contribution. Yes. It's beautiful. <laughs> all right, so we're, we're back. So I, I, I do apologize, guys. I know you, you are our guests. Um, but anyway, so yeah, as of now, I think we're good. <laughs> no, but let's, let's have uh, friends say a few more words uh, about your work. This is, this is a great support to the community. Thank you. So when I'm working with families, they know I'm a witch. They know that I am a medium. So I also use those skills to help support the dying because, you know, there are times where they're holding on and they're not ready to let go. So I'll use my mediumship to kind of figure out what's going on. I'll talk to the deceased ma members of the family, to find out like what's going on. What do I need to do? How do I support? And, you know, that's a way that I will, you know, utilize and, you know, help my clients. Um, yeah, if you have anything specific, I'm like drawing a blank. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Sure, and Wonderful. so... Um, and, and are there any resources that you use uh, during your counseling uh, or supportive uh, methods? So, I use... A, yeah, I read a lot of books. Like, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a funeral director. So... I was like 10 years old and I knew that working with the dying was something that I wanted to do. So, you know, I took many classes. I read a bunch of books about grief, death. And what I do is if I have a client who needs a specific help, like Dr. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, I love her. All of her workings I find are just so monumental and they hold so much truth and just clarity for those who are navigating through death so i like to always you know give those to my families just to read over and just understand i know when my parents died that's pretty much what i clung to those resources and reading and being in that space with it friend what, what's your background ethnic, freya. Ethnic, huh? freya freya yeah okay <laughs> What's your, what's, I'm sorry, Freya, yeah. what's your, what's your ethnic background? Hey, so I know I'm Italian. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> <laughs> that, that could be, that could be the Philly in her too there. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, um, no, I was, I was wondering, I said, this girl must have Latin in her. <laughs> Woo, that is, you're the first person to say that. <laughs> but you never know. I know I have a little bit of Scottish and Irish, but you never know. Such a thing should happen, oi. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little Cuban in me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is wonderful. Uh, you know, you, you must touch a lot of people out there, and uh, bereavement is such a huge component that... Um, I had to actually uh, study, uh, you oh, know, yeah. heartedly when it came to bereavement, and and also when when I'm doing when we were doing our clergy classes throughout the Catholic tradition, uh, there was a portion of it that uh, through our clergy classes that we had the bereavement, we had the funeral, uh, how to address uh, the needs and also the ceremony itself. So, so that was such a huge component um, for me to re-encounter myself again uh, with, with the dying, you know, and, 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 and understand the sensitivity. Being, being that instrument of empathy yeah. for I'm those in need. Yeah, because with my line of work, I'm essentially a bridge for healing, for clarity, for support, for knowledge. Correct. So I know when I talk to people about like what I do as a death midwife, I always like to have it be something said that, you know, death midwives or death doulas, whichever you want to call us, 
we represent that pillar of just composure of knowledge and it's really important for us to maintain this as we're working with families and it's that support is just monumental for for everybody it's optimal correct i'm so glad thank you so, absolutely kudos to you blessings and and it's just oh. lovely to have two um you know brother and sister of the cabbage tradition with me here. <laughs> No, I love how it worked out. That's amazing. <laughs> it's lovely. Um, Eddie! Yes, I'm I'm working on things. Keep talking. <laughs> talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> talk and talk. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's just great uh, when, I, when I actually create that accent because uh, you have the Jersey, Joyce, <laughs> and you have the Long, Long Island you know, uh, talk as well. So you have both. Well, Sean, Sean's topics. Canadian, so he's probably like really lost on all of them, what we're talking about. <laughs> well, it's funny because when you were talking before, like, yeah, what's that? Uh, two of our shows before we had the. Um... And, I'm, and I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm the Hispanic. I'm, <laughs> I'm the Hispanic. I'm the Hispanic. It's, it's, you know, okay, you know. <laughs> so I have I have that with me too, and and uh, I remember uh, uh, at work they they actually create funny uh, with me about um, my optometrist, and his name is Doctor Morgenstein. So Sally Sally calls me and said, "Oh Sally, is this this Alexander? <laughs> you know, this is Sally from Doctor Morgenstein's office. Uh, you you actually do." Where are you coming? You guys are funny. Oh my god. I can't believe you guys. <laughs> Maybe we should hear Sean talk with his boot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Sean. Um, well, I guess I'll just talk a little bit about the talk that I did. So, uh, my, my talk was very different than, than, than Freya's. Uh, my talk was actually street magic. Uh, it was a little bit of tongue in cheek, but it was actually about how to defend yourself and also go on the offensive though when you're just wandering around. And so I talk about magic and attacks and defense and things like that don't always happen you know, at a festival. They don't always happen when you're doing ritual, but you can be uh, encounter somebody who's a little bit negative uh, on the street or in a bar or in other settings. And so I, I talk about that. Uh, my talk was that and a lot of the magic that I teach, I, I'm always very careful to say I'm not representing the kind of tradition when I'm talking about it. There might be overlaps. Um, because because that's not what I'm representing when, when I talk about that type of magic. And um, uh, a lot of what I teach can be piggybacked with other traditions. So other traditions can take what I teach and they can piggyback it with whatever system they're using. And so a lot of what I teach is fairly kind of universal in its application. And although it sounds a little bit darker, like it's attack, my emphasis was when you know how to attack somebody, now you know how to defend more easily and... You know what to look for to help somebody who's been attacked so you can heal them and you can heal them more easily and more deftly. So I, I kind of approach it from that angle as well. So it, 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 went, it was good today. Like the talk already happened and I think it went fairly well um, by approaching it. Lovely. No, yeah, yeah. Very interesting. I bet it did. So, you know, Eddie. Yes. Did it go? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I have AC Fisher trying to get through to us. But we have these lovely young yes. here, and, and it's, it's just it's just great to to partake in such a huge event. And I don't know if you guys were with us last year when it first uh, its debut uh, that Christian and Brian had um, the first annual WitchCon. It was huge but, because yeah. of the pandemic. Such a huge out up uh, burst of of. Uh, attendees yes so so now to this time it's like amazing yeah we have less but still we have such great quality of practitioners out there yeah it's, it's, we were both we were here last year yeah both of us Excuse were me? here both, both of us were here last year freya and i were both here last year we were oh here. great yeah oh yeah, um, yeah. It, it's, it's wonderful that you, you guys experienced it as well yeah, and it was absolutely amazing. And then that's when Lori was able to teach too. So that was incredible. Correct, yeah. So many people were talking about that. 
you know, to have have her um, at a festival because this was still a festival, even though it's online. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. talking, it was the talk of everyone, you know. It was. Good, you know, so it was really incredible too. Yeah, no, and and I remember that that I don't know who, I, I guess Christian created the the Cabot meme of uh, uh, Lori, Jackie, and I, and it was uh, this little um, you know promotional uh, meme for for WitchCon. It was so cute. Uh, to have like the Cabot family together for uh, on on um, uh, WitchCon. So uh, this year was I think it's just Jackie and I. And now we have you and and uh, Free as well. So that's that's lovely. And, and everybody else that I don't even know of, I have I still have to get to to know so many uh, Cabot brothers. Is that... Sorry, I, I think that might be me. The dinging. <laughs> No, that's me. that's me. It's right here. I... Yeah, that's, uh, the, the well, okay, it sounds like a, one of my websites that, that I'm part of. I'm like, oh, yeah. that's how... <laughs> <laughs> and you're you're hitting the town tonight uh, with uh, Christian. I uh, kind of got word of that out in. The... Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't actually usually. It's fine. You just noted it. Um, I don't usually advertise that at all. Um, yeah, I, I'm friends with Christian and Brian. We're not just like, you know, intertwined business-wise because I, I'm also very recently now a contracted author with them with Warlock Press. Oh, uh, very, very nice. Very nice. nice. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But we're also friends. And so, yeah, I don't usually tell people when I go out with them because um, um, I really like reinforcing that we have a separate friendship, that it's Sean, Brian, and Christian. Right. But right. not, you know... Christian Day. Yeah, 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 yes, day. right. No, I completely it's understand. Up. Yeah, you know, it's Sean, Brian, and Christian. Right. So yeah, we are, we are, we are going up tonight. My phone just started dinging, so I don't know. That might be Brian. But, uh, <laughs> Where but, uh, are you? Yeah, we're going. Up. We'll probably go to the, the, one of the local speakeasies, and then we'll see where it goes from there. If it's an early night, that'll be it. If it's a typical Sean and Brian night, you know, we might be a bit later. Is, is Poison start. still open? What is it? Poison? Uh, Potions. Potions. Yeah, Potions. That's, that's the speakeasy. Potions. Yeah, the speakeasy. Yeah, that's where, we're, where, where I believe we'll be going. Yeah, it's still open. Um, um, it is. Well, she, uh, she opened up another business. She opened up the Vampire Cafe. So if you're in New Orleans, do a little plug. Oh, Vampire right. Cafe. The Vampire Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> um, so she also owns the Vampire Boutique. And uh, um, if you go to the boutique, uh, if they screen you enough, you might find out more about what Potions All is all about, because um, that's that's sort of the local speakeasies, but you can't get in there without a password. So yeah, no, it's still open, still going strong. It's it, it's really good. Yeah, and Marie just oh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed uh, the environment. It was it was just like we had the whole thing for, to ourselves when it comes to potions, and it was oh, wow oh, about okay. maybe two years ago. It was when she first opened potions, and I know that. Christian and Brian used to go there a lot, yeah. and so we we said the magic word, and we were we were able to be brought up to uh, to potions, and and I had uh, the absinthe. Uh, nice. the whole. I love it. The, the, the art, you know, yeah. it, was, it was just wonderful to see the art of the absinthe being created and, and so forth, and um, I just I, great memories with Rhea. Uh, Lady Rhea uh, yeah. at, at Potions. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it, it, it's quite the experience. And yeah, and again, if, if anybody's ever in New Orleans or people are coming down for Hexfest this year, definitely, definitely uh, a lot of the people that present at Hexfest, a lot of people that go to it, they will be at Potions. And it is quite the experience at any time, let alone when you have 30 magical people uh, in a room together. Um, just, you know, right? Just having the absinthe and everything else, right? So... <laughs> I only had a few of the uh, of of the near coven. Uh, we had we had a certain the New Orleans constituents uh, when it come when it came to the um, uh, New York Wicca and, and uh, Welsh, and so it was fun to be there with so many people, uh, you know, and and their ideas and their love and and sharing. Uh, together in one room, but uh, it was it, it's it is a really relaxing uh, uh, environment uh, yeah. that he provides. Yeah, 
Yeah, it, and that's the other really neat thing about it too is that it is just so it's just chill. It's just really relaxing and, and very laid back. Um, it's nice. It's, it's a it's like a little oasis in a city that is. It is. Go, go, right? And right I remember the, the terrace. Yes. It, it's yeah. actually a great view for for Mardi Gras. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a fantastic view. Yeah, of exactly. the whole uh, the whole you know gamut of of New Orleans. So it's yeah. it's wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it is one of my go-to places. <laughs> is it very different from uh, Canada? Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I mean, also during COVID, right? Like we've been really strict in our lockdowns, so like it's way different right now. Um, but even before COVID, yeah, it's it's really really different. Um, the, the the area that I'm in, uh, there's a lot of students, so it's a bit of a party city, but more from a student perspective because we have three different colleges in, in our city. Um, our city's about twice the size of New Orleans, but it's kind of that part is really similar. It's got a very small town feel. Both the city in Canada that we're from, which is Kitchener Waterloo, and also New Orleans, so that part's really really similar. Um, we do have French influences as well, and other kind of influences mm -hmm. kind right. of New Orleans, but there's really no place like New Orleans in general. Um, in Canada, our two closest cities would be Montreal and Quebec City, mm -hmm. and that's more for the architecture. It's not for the vibe, and not for the energy, and not for the magic. So, but in terms of the architecture, some of it's kind of the same. So yeah, it's definitely, um, the space is very different than Canada, and New Orleans sometimes is even really different for the States, right? It's, it's, you almost feel like you're not in the States when you're in New Orleans. So yeah, it's pretty different. It's pretty different, but in, in all the amazing ways. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I we I was schooled in that what two episodes ago, and we had uh, the Canadian Cabots. Um, the Canadian Cabots, my dear yes. friends. I, you know, Canada is is very special because I do have wonderful friends, and especially the Canadian Cabots of of Leslie and Jeff, um, my dearest family there. And I, when I come to, ha they live in Hamilton, and so when I yeah. go to Hamilton. And they, you know, they pick me up at Buffalo and they cross the, the border and all that stuff. And it's just an experience in itself. It's true. Um, yeah. Hamilton's 45 minutes away from me. So, yeah, I'm very familiar. I, I know them. I'm not familiar with them, but I've heard of them. Um, yeah. I know some other Hamilton Cabots whose names actually escape me at the moment. Um, but, yeah, ha Hamilton's 45 minutes away from Kitchener Waterloo. So... Yeah, because there's them, and then there's these other two, and then there's a gentleman that's part of their coven, and I think he's in Milton. I'm moving my arms like you guys can know that I'm yeah. able to put in that. Robert, there's Robert, there's the first and second. The, our, our high priest and priestesses for Canada is Leslie and Jeff. And then there is Kimberly and Robert and uh, uh, Evelyn, um, there's several people out there that are first and second degree. So the, the Cabot family in Canada, and obviously Leslie and, and Jeff, they hold that, that chapter for the, the Canadian uh, Cabots. Mm -hmm. So um, that's something special. Uh, they, they, I just spoke to them today, and, and she was telling me, when are you coming? And I said... <laughs> You know, I know that you're not coming for Beltane, and I'm doing Cornwall, New York for Beltane, and, and I'm like, okay, so I'll come for Lunasa. Nice. And definitely, you know, I'll, I'll be in Hamilton, because the pandemic has actually stirred this stagnation that that we're living in, the uncertainties, the, you know, and trying times, but, but hopefully now things will get better. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, I agree. I agree. Though, I mean, the one the one amazing thing about the pandemic is that it's allowed a lot of people to reflect on what's important to them, whether it's for family or for work or for spirituality. And in a lot of cases, it supported us more time for that reflection um, and more time to pursue studies. And so uh, I'm noticing, and I don't know if it's just because people are looking for guidance or, or they have the time. I think it's probably both. But there's been a lot more spirituality and, and, and practitioners kind of coming out of the woodwork over the last 18 months or so, whether newly trained, you know, newly, newly trained people um, or, or people that are just becoming a little bit more public and, and, you know, they've been around for a while. So that's been really fascinating to watch too. And, and I think, you know, time will tell, but so far I think it's a good thing. It's a good, it's a good side effect of, of, of the pandemic. 
So yeah, well, technology has is is plays a big portion on that to provide the accessibility. Yes, uh, for all of us, and and um, that in my years we didn't have that. We had mail order. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was correspondence, but. Um, Today we have that accessibility with technology, and, and just it's just amazing how look at look at how our Reverend Mother has stepped into the new era of yeah. TV online. And exactly, huge. And she she kind of like she was kind of shy. She shied away from that. She loved the fact that she could do it in Salem. And she would have her group, and she would teach and so forth. But due to the times, she. It pushed her into the, the technology and and uh, and and, out, and out for, you know. I think one of the classes that was like fifty or sixty students at one time. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's what, that's what's just so amazing. Like you know, in the late eighties, I remember reading Power of the Witch, um, you know, with, with my girlfriend at the time, and and I mean, especially in that era. To think that you know in, in uh, you know 2021 because that's that's what I, I, I'm very new as, as, as a Cabot, so I was trained in 2021. But in 2021, I'd be getting trained by Lori Cabot uh, over this thing called Zoom and something called the Internet. You know, like because you know, this was the late 80s when I first you know, discovered her. So that's yeah, it's phenomenal. It, it's really really it, well, it's magical. It's, it's it's beautiful and magical. So I'm glad I'm glad she made that transition because she's been able to reach a number of people that she wouldn't otherwise be able to, or at least be able to um, right away, right? They would have had to wait till after the pandemic. So, <laughs> <laughs> is that like, we're out, the timing is done. <laughs> Good old cuckoo clock. You know, <laughs> I, I dedicate this the clock to my friend Kirk and um, my grandma. My grandmother, because that's her clock, and, and Kirk, a dear friend of mine that I've lost. And so I dedicate that uh, to, when it comes to WitchCon and, and this time. So you guys, you guys, um, I remember, um, maybe you guys don't know, but when I was uh, in high school and I was um, listening to uh, Leonard Nimoy, who was the host of this show that was uh, in search of, and that's how I was introduced to Laurie Cabot. That was the first time I saw her uh, it was Salem Witches, and it was uh, episode seven of In Search Of with Leonard Nimoy. And it was just, a, I was like totally, I was stuck to the TV. <laughs> and that's how I learned about uh, Lori Cabot, because uh, coming up within a magical family, Masons and, and, and uh, occult, uh, you know, free thinkers, I, I was really drawn to um, just great individuals, pioneers such as herself. And there was this lady in Salem, Massachusetts, doing her own thing. And, and she was just uh, wonderful um, with her daughter, Penny. And she was creating uh, even her initiation in this episode. And I was just totally enthralled. Uh, if you guys get a chance, you could... You could watch it on YouTube, or if you have already. But um, that was my first experience with Laurie Cabot, uh, and I was in high school at the time. And then later in 1986, when I ventured uh, with a friend of mine to Salem, Massachusetts, and going to her shop, um, you know, uh, it was Crow Haven Corner at the time. And uh, I was totally enthralled to see, you know, a, a live you know, witch in front of me and, and so outspoken and she was personal, approachable. It was just wonderful. So that was my first, you know, experience with Lori and uh, also um, seeing that she had this black Mercedes outside the, the shop and there was a cat, there was her cat. And I thought it was a stuffed animal, but when I got closer to it, it was a real life cat on the the convertible uh, uh car and and it, it was actually waiting for lori to actually you know come uh, be brought in or or taken home so it was just it, it just a, amazing experiences of salem massachusetts back in the 80s and there, there was a sense of um 
more of a charm to Salem. Now, obviously, Salem is, is grown to commercialism. Yes. But back in the 80s and early 90s, there was that um, charm that uh, Salem provided. And I, and I felt the, the brisk Atlantic Ocean breeze and from the wharf, let's say, or, or going to Roosevelt's for dinner um as a kid so it's it, that that that's special to know about um and i you know and i'm able to share that with you guys well, really? thank you for that. salem is one of those places that it's such a special place it really is it's near and dear to my heart i lived there for years and it's just every time i go back it literally is coming home it's it's a beautiful place. It is, yeah. I remember fond memories of Victoria Station. I don't know if you ever if you ever experienced Victoria Station on the wharf. No. It, it was uh, it was an old uh, meeting place, uh, a restaurant that was right off of where Gypsy Ravish, uh, New Aeon, ah. was Vix. We would call it Vix, or we would call it Victoria Station, and, and uh, now I think I believe Finns bought that over. Um, but I remember going there and, and having and having that time with friends and, and gatherings. Uh, it's it's yeah, Salem is is very special. It was sort of like uh, a second home. Yeah. And still, and still is today. I haven't been back since 2019. Oh, you're due. <laughs> yeah, I'm due. You're due, yeah. I have, they haven't seen my mug in a while. <laughs> so who's... Oh, Ace. Hey, she made it. <laughs> oh. Hi. I, I don't know if I, I've got oh, camera. Oh, she is. <laughs> hey. Hi. I I don't know much about technology. Let me see if I can get the camera to work. Oh, uh, we'll help you out. <laughs> yeah, Dave says that's what I get for being a swamp witch is I'm learning how to do lots of technology that I've never used before. So <laughs> can you see me or not? Accommodating five. <laughs> okay. We can can you guys see, see me? Just the top of your head. Well, just like from, from the neck up, though. That's all just you bring down. Yeah. Down. Okay. Now you can see my boobs, right? I <laughs> know. <laughs> still, still the neck. Okay. There you go. Better. Yes. That's my stomach. There's my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see myself, so maybe that's a good thing. I see your Welsh flag. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Cameroon, right? Cameroon. Camera. That's Camera. close. Yeah, that's close enough. Yes, I was. I was uh, happy to be in in Wales for. I called it my weekend in Wales. Oh, that sounds like fun. Oh, it was great fun, and it was that super moon, that lunar moon, that we full moon that we had, and mm -hmm. it was so uh, breathtaking. Over, over uh, in in Wales when I was in um, Cardiff, that was that was quite special. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and and Carefilly. I went to the castle in mm -hmm. Carefilly and and all uh, certain other places throughout um, Wales. Well, I'm actually a third generation American. My ancestors are from Wales, and they taught me a lot of the folk ways that they did. I've only been once. My my son and his um, his wife were lucky enough to go right before COVID happened, and they climbed Merlin's Hill, and they talked to the sheep, and they had just a great time. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Tell us about your class. Oh, okay. My class was about avataring, which is actually a Hindu word. Can you see me, or are you looking up my nose or anything? Eddie <laughs> does not have any sound. Yeah, we're trying to tell Eddie we can't hear him. We can read his lips, but we can't hear him. I can't even see him, darn it. Um, so 
my class was about avataring, which is a Hindu word for taking on the persona or being possessed by a deity. So I kind of went through how to go about doing that and the caveats, lots and lots of caveats. Don't do this. Don't don't uh, try an avatar, the, the FAE, the little people, the good folk, because it, it doesn't end well. Um, and just step by step how to go about avataring. And it was it was a lot of fun. The the WitchCon classes are always a lot of fun. They are. They are. Even if even if it's premature, we only had the second annual WitchCon, but still it's it's it, it, the family has grown. Well, going to other people's classes, that's a blast too. It is. I mean, it's, you can do that all year. <laughs> yeah, you do, yes. When you don't have the time, you could go back. Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. So tell us, tell us, uh, have, have you had, had your class, class or, or you will, will have your class? class? I, did I did my class today, and there was a few people that showed up and made comments and, and learned something from it. And then I also got to go to um, Liz from England. I can't remember her last name. Liz Dean, and she did natural um, natural things in folklore that goes with Tarot. tarot. And I went to, um, oh, let me see. I went to, I went to, uh, Eddie's class about, about herbs. I like herbs. And that was, that was. Hey, what happened to you? There we go. There we go. <laughs> I forgot I turned it off. I'm just trying to go. So I just want to make sure that we are all, um, able to come through. So I'm going to set it up. Uh, this is the first time we've done this many people on the show. So I'm going to set it up with active speakers. So I just want to make sure that everybody goes through with that um, so that you know it, it, it comes into our system. So it, it, it runs a little differently because I'm running it through a specific system. So um, what I will do to try to get this to work, I cannot believe I'm actually getting this to work properly. Uh, <laughs> So what I'll do... We've been running this podcast for two years, and uh, this is the first time we've had so many guests all, all together. together. All I mean, together. On, on, you know, so I don't know. I'm watching it as Skype. Yes. Chaos, yes. But, uh, you know, with Eddie has the master board, so he, I don't know how he's placing everybody in their different... I'm, I'm going to try to do all, all on one. Um, so what I'd like is for AC to say, just talk, so that it makes sure that it, that's working. I'm uh, good at that. <laughs> Fortunately, I am good at that. <laughs> talking. All right. So, um, that, that, that this is working the right way. So hopefully everybody on our end can hear me. Um, um, Sean, your, your time. Chime in. Hello, hello. This is me testing out the system for you. Good, perfect. And got you going. And then Freya? <laughs> hello, hello. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> awesome. Yes, good. This is perfect. And hopefully in the chat room, you guys can hear me from that end. And then I'm chiming in too. So I think I got it. This is a brand new thing for us. So this is awesome. <laughs> Happy to be the guinea pig. I like it. Yes, yes. Yeah, no, it's good. No, it's all good. You know, this is, but this is what WitchCon is about too. You know, being innovative and, and you know, putting right, that right through and getting everybody together, you know, and putting it on. You know that using Crowdcast for the for that, but you know you being able to utilize my platform here, which I filled up from the ground up when we first started. We had technical issues and going through everything, and we were working on minimal oh. stuff. And yeah, it was it was it was a headache. Um, you know, remember we, I remember what we had Laura Tempest first, and we had Christopher Penzak. Yep, yep, lot, lots of we, internet we, issues. We ended up abroad with. Pendragon, yes. or Pendragon, so it's uh, like. And wow. now, and now we got five, pe five people. One, two, Somebody three, four, fell. five people on our our thing right now. So thank you guys for being the guinea pigs, and thank you guys for joining us and talking about, um, you know, that WitchCon and yourselves and you guys in your cabots. AC, you're not a cabot, are you? I am not a cabot. Yes, I'm not alone. <laughs> with Brian, poor Brian, because I was saying, you know, I was not wanting to be part of initiatory witchcraft and 
and because I always see them fighting, and he got kind of mad and offended by that. I'm a swamp witch. We're family tradition, but we're also really independent and on our own and, and alone. Well, uh, so I hope I made all you guys mad by saying that. No, no, no. I, you know, because you know, you know, the thing is, is you know, one of the things that you you pointed out, which I think you know, kind of should be out and maybe touch on, is um, you know, you brought in in family. Um, is that going on more on the folk magic side? Yes, very okay. much so. Okay. We do folk plays, and we do some other things that have um, gone on for a really long time. They're being revived in the UK. So that's that's a kind of cool stuff. So my whole family is involved, and then we're we're teaching other people outside the family because a lot of it died out, not because of Christianity per se, but because of World War II and television and the Great Flu just kind of killed off the traditions more so than Christianity. Gotcha. But family traditions are the core. Of, of magic itself so it's it's just wonderful that you're sharing that uh, well thank you community because not a lot a lot of people do and i have a dear friend who lives in louisiana and he's always he's wanted me to come and, and experience the the swamp witches as he's a crawfish he says when they have a crawfish, a crawfish boil or or, or a festival <laughs> And he says, you have to come, you have to come and and, uh, and give your, your lecture. And I said, yes, I'll contribute my lecture to, to the, the family. Right. And uh, there, there, there must be wonderful people. Uh, well, aren't you from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan? There's a lot of swamps up there, too, because a lot of Welsh people and Cornish people settled there because of the mines and the timbering and oh. carried on some of the traditions. Just as they did in, in Sean, you probably know about this, in Newfoundland, where they have the big Mummer Festival. I don't know. I assume well, everybody so, knows each other. So, so would uh, Freya. I mean, Freya, uh, Philadelphia has a large uh, Mummer community. Uh, oh, they right. have the parade, um, you know, every New Year's. It's done kind of differently, and but it's all the same thing. It's all kind of comes from the folk play tradition. Look at that. Everybody's connected, right? Love it. <laughs> How are we doing on time? Uh, we're, we're, we're over. It, you know what? This is this is kind of like a special thing. Uh, we went on late, so we're actually right on two hours. Uh, but, you know, whatever. It took it took a while for AC to, to connect connect her swamp vines to ours. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. how with Christian it went overboard. Yes, uh, when we had Christian and we were doing the first annual uh, WitchCon uh, episode, and it's it's it, we were like, oh my god, it was two, three, four hours. I think. Yes. It was. Yep. Yep. That was actually our well, our longest. Uh, with, that with was that. the longest. Yeah, and then we then we were on after privately. Yeah, we after hours. Yeah, we had after hours. Yes. <laughs> Getting him and Brian together, it's like a it's like a game show. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they need to when, their when own he show. Came, I, I remember when he came to New York and, and he took us out to dinner and it, you know, he, he actually invited the whole magical community of New York and, and everyone was there and then afterwards he invited you know, he certain people stuck together and we went out and uh, his karaoke. He loves his karaoke. Oh, oh, we God. went to, we went to, I think it was downtown Manhattan, and we went to a karaoke spot that he found, and we, you know, we were just having a blast. I'll never forget that. That was a wonderful experience, uh, you know, while, while they were here in, in Manhattan. That's awesome. <laughs> so. I'm surprised. So this any is all any new? Uh, how about next year? I'm planning to actually incorporate my new book uh, and develop a new workshop where actually I kind of give um, uh, 
templates of, of each and every uh, chapter of my book. So this way, I kind of like personally a, be able to express why I, I broke, wrote, uh, you know, and incorporated that in my book. So so I'm, I'm actually going to do that rather than, you know, I only, there's only two workshops that I do, which is the, cat, the Tea Time with the Cabbage Tradition tradition and also uh that i um have gone abroad but then i developed psychic gifts and that was that was a, a great response and outpour but this is what i'm doing now for for uh next year what are your plans are you guys planning to do an, a different class or incorporate something differently mm-hmm. I'll go while they're thinking. Oh, no, there is no deal. Go ahead. Oh, no, after you. Go right okay. ahead. Um, so, so being an author of Warlock Press, um, I'll, I'll be at WitchCon next year for sure. Um, I think it would have been anyways. Um, but I'll also be at HexFest. And so the last two talks that I've done are basically excerpts of my book. They're, they're, they're teasers for my book. So the first class, like last year, was all about protection and purely on defense and how to defend yourself. And then, you know, like I said, this year was a little bit more about attack, but also how you can use it for protection and healing. Um, so I'm not sure what talk I'll develop for which con next year. It'll probably actually be healing because that's kind of the triumvirate of the three okay. because of how I see them. So that's kind of where I'm leaning. For Hexfest, I, I want to do where I thrive, which is a hands-on class. So normally when I teach, I want to see people do the shields. Or I want to give them pointers. I want to make sure that they're doing it correctly. And I want them to be able to perceive it with their partners and things like that. So I am, I am so looking forward to doing a workshop like that at Hexfest where it's very, very hands-on, magical hands-on, where the adept can play a little bit with their partner and the beginner can learn how to do it. So that's, that's kind of what's in the works for me. Uh, the book should be coming out at the end of this year. And as soon as I've done all of my parts, I'm already ready to go on book two and three. So, I, I mean, I don't know how quickly I'll be able to turn them out, but that's kind of, for me, that's like the next 12 to 20 months is... Uh, WitchCon, HexFest, and finishing off the one book and hopefully getting the other two really, really rolling. Awesome. What's the title, please? You know what? I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it. <laughs> I ahead of time. So it, it will be under my name. So it's not under a pseudonym. So Sean Wild, S-E-A-N-W-I-L-D-E. I've got a Facebook page. You can also do my personal Facebook. Um, that's fine, too. Well, I mean, you and I are already friends. So it's the same with Freya. <laughs> For anybody listening... Um, and uh, it will be under Warlock Press, and, and I, I'm sure that um, it will be announced over WitchCon and over HexFest and all kinds of different things in terms of the title. So there is a title, I just like I said, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it yet. <laughs> <laughs> secret, but secret, yes, secret. Uh, that, that is definitely, I'm, I'm looking forward to it because I believe that uh, I'm ex. Uh, I spoke to Christian. And I'm, I'll be there in two, 2023 awesome. for Hex Fest. Oh, that's and, great! Um, because I used to come with with Rhea, with Lady Rhea, all the time, and and that was such a, a, a wonderful opportunity to meet, to, for me to be part of the community and, and meet everyone and just uh, be hang hang out with Christian and Brian. But um, Definitely, I'm uh, looking forward to in 23, maybe even getting to see you, meeting you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that'd be great, for sure, for sure. If we don't see each other sooner, then definitely August of 2023, then it's a plan. Yes. <laughs> now, you know what? And and keep your contact close because um, to bring you to New York, also with Witch Fest that we okay. have in July. She, uh, Star Raven Walk is always looking for new, uh, you know, presenters. Yeah, I can, well. yeah, I, um, I just friended you on Facebook. I'm surprised we weren't yeah. friends. Um, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I, I just friended you. So I'll, she's, she is looking still for this year, uh, by the virtual okay. or in person. Um, yes. and I'll send you the link so that you can, okay, uh, awesome. you can do that. Yes. Yeah. Or yeah. go on her, her line. It's, uh, which best. USA. I yeah, think it is. yeah. You can you can and do you go right on through the that. Line and yep. There's a presenter and there's the application and you just sign and you fill it out. Yeah. Okay. Because this way you could be part of the New York yep. community as well. That's yep. awesome. And I love you that. too, Freya. Yeah. And, and my lovely lady here as well. My Welsh. She presented. <laughs> I presented last year 
for Witches Fest, and I'm coming back again to present. Oh, you are coming. Okay. Oh, awesome. 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 Oh, you are Witches yeah. Fest. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I, I just sent you a friend request, too. I don't know why we're not friends on Facebook. <laughs> Uh, you know, I get. Are we friends? I, I don't know. Are we? <laughs> I have. Well, you know, I. Oh, okay. No, I have. Um, I I have like over fifty sitting waiting that I have, and even all from WitchCon and being a presenter, and all, you know, every year I get tons. So I have to sit and go through them. You know, I I try to keep it within uh, the close knit community when it comes to the Facebook thing. You know, and try to gear just. Um, attendees to my page, you know, rather than kind of crossing that line. Um, so it's kind of hard. I have like 50 I got to go through right now. Uh, for the... I have a maximum of 5,000, as you could see. Yeah. I mean, so, um, you know, I'll try. You know, I don't know if you guys are with me on Facebook, but please, I think it's better on Instagram. I am on uh, Twitter. The Eddie takes care of that. And also, there's TikTok. So I'm I'm <laughs> broadening myself with with all these platforms. But I'm anti TikTok, so definitely More there's some. Sometimes I have people... to learn. Oh boy! <laughs> what, did, what did you say? I'm sorry. There's more technology I have to learn. I'm scared of that. Oh. <laughs> My kids aren't around to help me anymore. And in the blink of an eye, there's more to come. So when, <laughs> you, you, uh, when it comes to uh, Facebook, I do not want to create another page in Alexander Cabot. I know. Well, you know, I mean, the way new, things are going with... Um, I want to create that. I want to have one basic page. I have my, my, my civilian <laughs> page. Yeah. When it comes to my own, and of course the the as a minister with the with the temple and and with the public, so as Alexander Cabot, I don't want to create another page. Right. Well, I mean, it, we, there's a lot there's a lot going on um, right now with this whole Facebook thing. Being there, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, they're all jumping in on it on controlling the community standards for witchcraft tarot and this other really? stuff so we may not be able to broadcast our show uh, by the end of the month um oh, no. on facebook um i don't know about youtube just yet but it's it they're they're really cracking down on it and you know when it comes to the witchcraft aspect uh, i don't understand it when it comes to the tarot i kind of do because there's a lot of scammers going on there's a lot there's a lot of issues going on um so i don't know how they're going to handle this i mean it could turn into a very legal battle i mean witchcraft um yeah well that, that's just it well they, they, they the way they're looking at it is removing all religion um Wow. from it yeah because even right now you know i do a lot of advertising through facebook and a lot of things and there's categories that you can tap into when doing ads and they remove the religion aspect of it uh you cannot wow. use it as a tagline anymore or spirituality any of that um on that end so far when it comes to advertising but they're pushing it to any kind of live any kind of mention any kind of thing of removing it um, removing religion altogether as it being going against community standards, mainly because it's causing issues, just like politic politics. So here you heard this on this old. Place. Yeah, yep. Because so it's, it's amazing, yes, because we do have scammers nowadays. How you know, Lady Rhea, Lori Cabot? How many? How many? You know, uh, fake pages are being yeah. born, yeah, yeah, uh, and used for these scammers. You know, to entice people, and and they're soliciting their their readings and so forth, and and it's not them. I mean, you no, know, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, it, it'll be interesting to see where it goes because you're you're crossing the line between religion, which I kind of understand. You know the differences and being able to use it on a public public uh, platform, but then you're also crossing the line of free speech. You know what I mean? So it, it there's there's uh, it, it's a tough line that they got to cancel. So I'm, I'm curious as to go. I understand the advertising part of it um, when it comes to the witchcraft and tarot and things like that uh, because it's advertising. Um, but 
uh, you know, being able to go live and talk about witchcraft or talk about, you know, or do readings, all those type of things, it's going to be a hard line to kind of for them to cross. So it'd be interesting so to see where when it goes. Is this going to be in effect? Um, I, it goes fully in effect in March, um, sometime in March, uh, but it's slowly happening up until then. Um, I saw it in advertising. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> and we'll see where it goes from there. Um, so many lawsuits. Yeah. I yeah no definitely definitely. Um, wow. You know I mean it, it's a it's a hard line. You know I mean being involved in the witch community is a hard line to cross anyway between politics between um, you know the 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 um, commerce part of it compared to the spiritual religious part of it. Um, it's a hard line in, on all sides anyway. Um, do I see it as a witch hunt like a lot of the community is seeing? I do not see it really as a witch hunt and trying to squash us. I think it's because if you look at the, the, the way they're looking at it, they're looking at it as a... Um, a means of all religions, not just against us. It's Kirk Walsh. You know, so that's how I kind of see it. I see the logic in a lot of things. I'm a Virgo, so I see, <laughs> I see the, the logic in a lot of things. But at the same time, you know, we do this basically for free. I mean, we, we you know, um, we do get advertisers and we do sell merch and stuff like that. But that's, that goes just for paying the bills for this, you know, right. we have platforms we to pay for. We don't profit on this. Right. There's absolutely no profit. Two years of providing education and support and unity within the community. This is this is the platform. You know, this is one just a mere podcast. In it's humble form of education, uh, and that's its mission. Mission, and unfortunately, people. You know, mistake. Oh, you know, what I mean, there's pretense, and there's no pretense involved in it. it. We're we're involved in the community because we care. If not, we wouldn't be. We we're 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 lending our time for free mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and and also WitchCon. You know, we're yes, we're getting paid, but we're getting we're we're providing a service uh, of education for for those that are are eager to learn exactly and seeking that knowledge too yeah and seeking, seeking that yeah Precisely. yeah it's really nice for for people who are homebound who can't get out and like during covid it's yeah. nice to see people from all over the world and learn about different traditions absolutely and and also this platform this this podcast that we have here today has that we've we've had international uh uh, you know, renowned authors and teachers, and, and even even um, great s civilians, right, Eddie? Yeah, yeah. We had yeah. a great civilian yeah. that has provided to the pagan Wiccan community. Uh, uh, you know, showcased her on this uh, this podcast, and so this is something that we do out of love. It's a labor of love, and people should understand that we, you know we don't get. Any any um, monetary value out yeah. of it, whatever we whatever we do get, we put it back into the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, definitely, you know, and, and that was that was a big part of when I created, you know, when I approached Alex on this, with the show um, was about um, education and and keeping it real, you know. Um, it's not about necessarily interviews when we have guests on, we don't necessarily, we, of course we ask questions, you know, and the, the, our listeners ask questions and things like that, but we keep it real. It's very organic. We don't care what we talk about. Sometimes we don't even talk about witchcraft or magic or any of it. You know, we'll talk about, you know, dinner and our favorite <laughs> foods and, you know, what color underwear you, you like wearing, see. you know? Yeah. Like, all oh, it. it we just, an appointment. We're Dr. Morgenstein. You know, that, that, you know, outside of our books, outside of our, you know, quote unquote status in the community or whatever it is, that we are real people at, at the heart. 
And that's what makes us witches is being real, you know, and not only in um, our actions to the public, but who we are as people. You know, when we when we were, you know, socioeconomic, we are of, of all socioeconomic forms, you know, what I mean, and providing a service for humanity, for the higher good. And this is this is something that we take pride in. Yeah, you know, we, yeah. we we are humans within within the, the muggles, <laughs> other cowards, <laughs> as the old term is, is always uh, dear to me. This is something that we do out of love, right? Uh, and yeah. and people tend to shy away from that the, the stigma and the perverse Christianized version of witchcraft, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, I, but you know, it, 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 for us, it goes beyond that, and obviously, it's worked. You know, we have over two hundred thousand listeners worldwide. Oh, wow. Yeah. By keeping it, you know, organic and keeping it simple and being about education, not only learning about, you know, who the authors are and who these people are, the faces that everybody knows and sees or the names that everybody knows and sees. But that was one of the reasons why uh, recently we, we brought on, you know, people within a community who don't have that face or that name that are making changes within the community that are important. You know, the, the everyday witch, you know, is the best way to put it. And they're, they're, they're not teachers. They're not the, authors. Right. They're not witch celebrities. Right, right. right. So right. they providing actually a, a, a huge effort of change within the community. And, and so we brought one of them, which was, uh, what's her name? It's in the tip of my tongue. Um, it is too, and I just spoke to her yesterday <laughs> as well. Um, yeah, I can't think right now. I had too many glasses of wine, but um... <laughs> Alex, uh, uh, Eddie, I actually need to go yes, I, I that other engagement, yes. and I promised to get an Uber at eight thirty, so I'm, I'm late now. Yes, so I got to run. Right. Thank you. So much Thank for you. you. Know, We'll, we'll definitely have you back on, um, you know, as a, as a regular guest, you know, with a book and things. Oh, actually, everybody here, we would love to have you back on, at, you know, outside of WitchCon. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be in contact. It's a pleasure meeting you, brother. Yes. My Thank you so much. Brother. I'm great, great to see you again. I see you as well. I'll probably see a lot of you tomorrow. Um, I'll be around. So thank you again right. so much. Enjoy. Take care. Well, good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> All right, we're down to four, and we're still going. <laughs> and the chat room is still going. So I just want to put it out for the anybody in the chat room if they have questions for anybody for you know that's our guest tonight. Uh, please put it out there. Other than Natalie Sedwick, who says which is wear underwear. So, <laughs> so yes. Um, but AC, I know you. You want to wear So. <laughs> <laughs> so ac you know um i because you, you were the last to kind of join in um you know if you want to uh promote anything if you want to you know do anything um you did your class already correct yes i did yes um you know and kind of talk with that or just we can just sit here and chat i mean we have our own little zoom room going on whatever they're doing i'll, I'll chime into them later when it gets crazier, I got, I got a couple things to flog. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my my book is Common Magic. It's available from Llewellyn, and I was also in the Llewellyn Witches Companion this year with an article about talismans. Um, my book is about folk magic, and then in March in BBI Media's Witches and Pagans magazine, they're the same people that did Pangaea and New Witch and and Sage Woman. I have a really well researched article about Carnunos and the horned lord and all different forms and pictures of him and tales of him from around the world because every culture except has in South a... America and Antarctica has some form of a horned lord so I, I got lots of horned lord information and it was really fun to write and speaking of like um you know remuneration and making a big fortune I didn't get paid for this at all because mm -hmm. these magazines 
are purely for education. They're not making any money on them. Print costs have gone through the roof. So is mailing costs. So, you know, they're just keeping afloat. And the lady that runs it, Ann Newkirk Niven, has three jobs and her husband helps. But it's really a labor of love, this mm-hmm. magazine. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, I, are you holding your phone? I am. Yeah, yeah, I know. Because when you talk, <laughs> it's it's all good. It, it's okay. It's all good. It's all... Oh, I'm making you dizzy. I'm sorry. <laughs> like the I'm like here too. Like, okay. It is. Can you actually put it farther away from you. Okay. <laughs> Stretching. Uh, that's even better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I. I because I'm, I'm running off the platform, I don't see it that way. Um, it comes in differently for me. So I'm if I go to Skype, I'm sure it'll probably uh, be like that. But uh, I, just, I just see half of her. Yeah. 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 So, yes, uh, you know, which, we, you know, we have many more years to go with WitchCon, uh, you know, hopefully uh, with Brian Kane and uh, Christian Day's assistance, uh, you know, forthcoming of the event annually. So this is something that um, I'm looking forward to, uh, to become like a tradition. Yeah. I'm yeah. hoping so. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, for, you know, for us, um, you know, uh, with uh, Witchfest, um, you know, that's really what what, it, what it's become. You know, it's not so much about like, oh, I'm doing Witchfest. It's more of like, I'm going to the reunion, you know, I, and that's okay. kind of like what's, what's happening with, with WitchCon too. You know, yeah. you know, it's his second year. Um, I'm still meeting new people. Um, you know, I, AC, I met you last year. Um, but Freya, I know you did do last year, you know, but we never really chatted. I was always in the zoom room. I spent most of the time in there because it was a lot more fun and things like that, you know, and then I watched all the classes after, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like, uh, for me is it's like a continuation. Uh, it it starts the year with WitchCon now, Yeah. you know, uh, you know, and then we have, um, you know, Witch Fest in, in July. And, you know, I have yet to be invited to Hex Fest. Uh, <laughs> but um, I'm hoping it's coming. Um, you know, that, that was always my goal, you know. Well, I'll come. I mean, I, I, I was, I've been invited. You know, Christian, Christian, the last one, Christian calls me up three days before and goes, you're coming. And I'm like, um, I have a business to run. Like I, I, I just can't get up and go to New Orleans. <laughs> you know, if it's planned, that's perfectly fine. But Christian calls me up and is like, "You're coming." I'm like, "It's three days, dude. Like I have a business to run. I can't just stop my life and go. I'd love to, but I can't." You know. So, you know, like, you know, but going as a presenter, obviously, you know, uh, this year, I this year I will come in person, whether attendee, uh, whatever, I'm sure, because otherwise Christian is going to get on my ass. But, <laughs> you know, like, you know, but that's the thing, like having these continuous um, platforms for us to not only be able to teach and not be able to um you know, being able to present because it's not really about that per se for the community. It is about that togetherness and having those spaces in between where it provides not only um, the moment to see each other, you know, and discuss um, as practitioners, not as authors or teachers or any of that, but as practitioners. Uh, to get together and kind of talk about things and learn from each other. With uh, this, right. this last year's Witch Fest, mm-hmm. our experience was such a, um, a you know homecoming. Well, yeah, because of COVID, it was wonderful yeah. because it yeah. was during 
you know, we had the pandemic and, and it's just like the gathering, the homecoming yeah. of all of us together again at Witchfest on Astor Place. And, and it was just wonderful to see everyone. And for us to actually uh, have the show live. Live, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did it live together. <laughs> First time together, you know, doing it live. Because we started this broadcast right at the beginning of the pandemic. We did. We sure did. It was I, right at the beginning. It was April. Yeah. I'll never forget April. And I just came back from Brazil, which I was quarantined in, in Brazil. I was I was uh, on my pilgrimage to Peru. I'm like, you're not coming back. back. You're not coming back. I know I, it. Like, right? I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you're not coming back. <laughs> Tell me about Witch Fest. Is it in a hotel? Is it camping? It's in the no, streets. It's, it's not camping. It's a street fair. It's the whole Astor Place is shut down, and it's devoted to all the vendors, all the performers, and it becomes a huge New York City event of witchcraft wow. and paganism. Um, so a lot we we have the Christian fundamentalists. Uh, they come and they try to, you know, interrupt our our, our venue. Mm. Um, that happens at Philadelphia been, too. When we when we do yeah, Philadelphia, there has the been same moments thing. that the police has intervened and has shied them away, and you know, on a civil action. But we've we've had situations like that throughout. But it is a street fair that um, even our dear friend Ashley Cruz, she was there performing, and she was, the light, you know, life itself on, on the street there and, and uh, the great songstress. So that was something that um, we have in New York City every year in July, and it's provided by Star Ravenhawk, who is the founder of Witch Fest USA. So it's it's similar to the one in Europe, Witch Fest, but it, it it is particularly our own. That's why it's called USA. Mm -hmm. So it's Witch Fest USA, and that uh, uh, identifies with day? our own event. Is it more than one day? Yes, it's two it days. One day it goes on. Saturday's the highlight. Yes. Saturday's the gathering, the, the the street fair itself, but she has now, it has evolved, because she, she was the first one to have the online, before, before even Christian Day had his, her, his own, but uh, throughout the pandemic. So she was the first one to provide an online uh, platform for um, the event. Right? Yeah, Correct. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I helped her build it together and yeah, put it she, together. Yeah. To yeah. It. So I remember that that was the first time, and we had it was a huge turnout. It it, it was successful. There were glitches, uh, of obviously. Yeah. Were it was glitches, it was new for everybody to be able to move something online that was, was always in person. Was pandemic, yeah. everyone was home, yeah. so and we couldn't provide that sort of event obviously in person so we did it online and and and, and uh, she was the first one to access that for for a lot of people and um this th that was a great opportunity but then last year we were the homecoming like i said so it was uh, obviously the 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 outpour of <laughs> so many individuals so eddie and i were there Oh, someone left? Uh oh. Ah, we must, uh, yep. We must, uh, boss AC. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, well, oh. you know, you know, we, we've been running, uh, almost three hours. So it's probably <laughs> best <laughs> that we, we, that was like the, the, the bell, like, uh, guys, you gotta stop going, you know, otherwise we're gonna like run into wait, may, oh, way over time with our other things. You. Yep. Um, up, oh, yep. Um, that, is she back? Yeah, she is. Yep. So yeah, no. I mean, will, will you? That was that you you. It was okay because we're gonna use that as the ding to like you know what we gotta end the show. So. <laughs> <laughs>
We always it's so we're good. Always sitting on the wires because yeah. we have just really crappy slow internet way out here in the country. Yeah, it, it's all it, it's all good. So I'm going to give you each some time to promote yourself, uh, websites, books, all of that. Right. Um, I will start with AC. Uh, we'll do for, last one in, first one out. Um, oh. And I know we all want to get back into the Zoom anyway, so <laughs> party continues. Um, so, uh, AC, go ahead. I'll leave it up to you. You have your 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 fifteen minutes of fame. Okay, <laughs> my my book is Common Magic from Llewellyn, <laughs> and I'm also in a bunch of Llewellyn almanacs and other venues that they provide. And I have an article coming out in March from BBI Media in Witches and Pagans magazine. My website is www.acfisheralldag, all one word, dot com. And that has a lot of free stuff in it, pictures of some of the folk plays in British Isles folklore traditions that I talk about, free articles, um, how to buy my books, um, cool pictures of the British Isles. And my blog, which has various stuff on it about nature and about older traditions and about appearances and things like that, and fart jokes. We got the yes, fart gotta jokes. love those fart jokes. <laughs> that is <laughs> good a, for you. Old tradition. <laughs> and to, you can friend me on Facebook. Although, if you friend me specifically, you have to put up as as Eddie knows has to put up with my political rants and. Uh, more fart jokes and, yeah. <laughs> and I also do like a little local um, thing a little news site and I do the Lions Club and I do our city so you have to put up with all of that too so you might just want to go to my Facebook page that's about British Isles folkloric tradition so look for British Isles folkloric tradition on Facebook if you don't want to friend me and listen to all the other garbage, but you do want to know about folk magic and the little people that spell out F-A-E and, um, <laughs> and uh, pretty scenery from the British Isles and older traditions and calendar customs and holidays. And let's see what else is on there. A lot of herbalism. So, Eddie, you might like that. And crystals and all kinds of other magical stuff. Stuff. We stuff. like stuff. As witches, we like stuff. <laughs> stuff, as we say here in New York. It's stuff. Uh, stuff. So, AC, thank you for joining us. It was lovely. It took a while to get you on, but we got you on, so that's good. And I'll probably thank see you in a few you minutes. Yay! <laughs> Have a good night. I'll see you probably in a few minutes in the Zoom. Nice to meet you. Hey. Blessings to you. Hey. Blessings, Blessings to you. <laughs> All right, Freya, you're up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My name is Freya Bishop. I am a psychic medium and a deaf midwife. You could friend request me at Freya Bishop on Facebook. My Instagram is EF underscore Bishop. You can also friend request, send me a, what is that called? Friend request. <laughs> follow me. You can do that. Um, I do have a blog. It's been a minute since I wrote on it, but I do plan on writing more on it because I love writing. Um, it's the Bishop Witch at Word, on WordPress. And you can catch my class tomorrow on WitchCon, Test for Echo, Hearing the Call to Serve the Dying at 245. And I am presenting at Witches Fest in July, so I will also catch you there. Nice. Are you going in person or are you doing online? Online. <laughs> online. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just, just want to make sure because I know it's double now. So you know, just to make just to make sure, uh, so you know, so that people know because if they want to see you in person uh, or stalk you or whatever people do yeah. these days, yeah. <laughs> they'll know. <laughs> so, but hey, uh, thank you so much. It's it's Thank such a you. great opportunity to meet you, your lovely lady. I I'm thank looking you. forward to actually reconnecting with you. I would love that, and thank you for the opportunity to join both of you, gentlemen. It's yes, been a no, thank, thank you. Evening. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I, if you go in the Zoom, I'll see you in the Zoom. All right, see you then. All right, have a good night. Bye. You too. <laughs>
So we're back to the two of us. We're back to the <laughs> two of us. Uh, I just gotta, re- I gotta, re- gotta remove the uh, active speaker thing. This was the first time for us, so that, that's kind of yeah, cool. It first they, time, yeah. and that buddy was exhausting. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is, and I'm, I, is I'm gonna I'm skip really my normal I thing. I don't have my papers. I know. And like, then I came back, and it was your class. I know. I know. I know. To get into your class and. I know no. it, it's yeah, and then, oh. yeah, it, and we're going on we're going on three hours, um, you know. But whatever, it was fun. It was good. It was great. Um, we still have people in the chat room. They've been dwindling. They went from uh, sixty, really, yes, wow. down to three. So you know that's kind of another reason why we, I think we should have cut it out. I'm going to skip real fast through our normal my normal spiel. While I yawn. You know, and, and all of that. You know, join us every other week and on Saturday, 7 o'clock, we're on every platform, yada, 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 and all that stuff. Uh, we have our, you know, advertising and all that. It's below me. Figure that all out yourselves. Uh, <laughs> and do oh, that. That's my, that's my spiel for today. Um Yes, that's my spiel for today. Um, watch the show. You see all the advertising. If you're that's interested, you go yeah. in. Alex got his book, all of that. And we'll be back in two weeks. I have no idea who our guest is because I don't remember. Um, so uh, just... I don't remember. <laughs> me neither. Check on the Facebook. It's there. Other than that, everyone, Alex, you're closing... Thank you. There you go. Be done. Yes. Enjoy, guys. We will see you in two weeks. (laughs) If this thing decides to want to work, I will play my outro music. What's going on? We're stuck in WitchCon Zone. What is going on? This is very (laughs) strange. It's highlighted. But it doesn't want to work. We're stuck in WitchCon zone. Okay, well, I'm just going to end it without our outro music. Uh, Oh, I love our little outro music. It started to go. Um... There we go. There it goes. <laughs> not bad, right? No, that, that was pretty close. There's the witch. There it goes.